up your life sounds of case bringing us to the top of the 94.4 spice fm eric looks like he's about to cry man we wrote tons of letters to that song man and put <laughs> pod and whatnot that's why you're tearing <laughs> <laughs> anyway welcome to an amazing show my name is Emmanuel kisiangani welcome to the adults in the room only right here on 94.4 spice fm remember if you're in places like wangige Thome, and lower kabeta in nairobi the signal is 94.4 spice fm that is absolutely right and if you're in nakuru anywhere in the region Regions of Nakuru in Shabab, Kiti, Section 58, Kiamuni, Langa Langa. Catch us live and direct on 96.0 FM. Remember, Spice FM is the first radio coming alive in visual format countrywide and Africa wide. That means if you're in Dakar, Toba, Kolok, or all the way in the environs of uh, Senegal, you can simply stream into www.spicefm.co.ke, sugar and spice, and everything nice. My name is Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Ikolomani. If you're in Mombasa, tune in at 87.9. If you're in Malindi, that is 97.6 or 97.7. If you're in Nyeri, that is 97.6. And if you're in Kisumudala, the western region, that is Kakamega, Ikolomani, Ishiabahadi, Butere, that is 102.5. And if you're online... You can stream in live, as you've been told, that is triple W, Spice FM KE, and our social media handles are Spice FM KE on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, Eric, you're telling me if I'm in Amatatu and I have a mobile phone, I can stream our show you, live. You yes. totally can. You simply go to www.spicefm.co.ke. If you want to see what color of a dress Barbara is wearing. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the color of her lip gloss. Mm -hmm. You want to do that right now. And we have a very nice conversation lined up for you at the top of the hour. And uh, everything nice and all this passive vibe, man. Also, remember, mm -hmm. at the tail end of the first hour, that is 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. yes. We are taking all your feedback on 0719012600. So you want to keep that number down and waiting. All right, Eric, you're looking like you're ready for Friday. I totally am. Mm -hmm. I totally am ready for Friday. Mm -hmm. But I'm, uh, I'm, I've been uh, thinking very critically about uh, changing my routine. Mm -hmm. I am an ardent reader, as I tell you, Barbara. Yes. And now I can't seem to find time to read properly because uh, during changed. the day I have to plan for the show. And then in the evening I have to come all the way to the show. And then at night I'm tired. I was so tired. I slept like a log last night. Oh, everyone did. Yeah. But I'm happy nonetheless. Yeah. I have the same problem. I have so many books that I haven't read yet. Yes. Including the two books you gave me. Eric gave me two books. All right. I don't know what that means, but uh, I've not read them What yet. do you mean that means? Just give no, you a you gift. Never, you never know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Maybe it's a subtle message to uh, me. Oh, no, Subliminal. No, no, I'm also, no. well, I'm happy it's Friday. I'm also bubbly. I cannot wait for the show to end. I have missed my daughter. She's been away, so it's bonding time for us this weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah I heard you saying you're taking her for breakfast at some restaurant. Yes. Uh, tomorrow we agreed we're going to... Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. She, was, she was even telling her daughter to stream the show live. <laughs> <laughs> my I'm daughter late. hasn't seen me in a while so she's back home and she's like mommy are you coming early so i told her i'm working today but you can stream live and see me for five minutes then do, do you have to thing. listen to the audio or it's she just, can't uh, even she won't even understand she's just a baby the right. idea is for her to see my face yeah that's all what right. i tell my mom yes. i don't understand <laughs> but i used to understand everything <laughs> mm. i'm also good um nothing exciting that much that happened to me between yesterday and now mm -hmm. yes. i just went home slept woke up had breakfast hung out again had lunch and came to work. Oh, right. good for you. Yeah. Yeah. But something happened to me as we left yesterday. Yes. And it just made, got me thinking. When mm. we were leaving, a friend of mine, I think, was trying to reach me. So when, uh, after our meeting, or debrief, so I left the office, I gave her a call. And she'd just been dumped. And mm. the, the choice of words that this gentleman used were just not too nice. And it, it took time for me just the to... The gentleman who dumped her. Yes. All they right. were in a situation. I don't right. call it a relationship. Oh, yeah. So the words that he used, like, it's not me. It's, it's not you, it's me. Mm. You deserve better. I always find those words very cliche. And I don't know why Kenyans in general or the world or maybe men and women need to stop using those words. Mm. Because for me, when you tell me, it's not me, it's not you, it's me, I always mean, it's you. Yeah. No, when, but why? Okay. That's such a lie. Let's be honest. Yes. When someone tells you, you deserve better, it means I deserve better. 
No, I, I used those words once uh, back in the day. And you didn't mean and them. I, I meant be, it. Be honest about it. But I actually meant it. Are I you trying to make the person feel better about themselves? No, I, I, I reached the point where now I needed to be honest. And it, honestly, and yeah, it was it was because I kept being, you know, I kept being. So you thought those words being, were being honest. When someone tells you, I need, I need space, that means I need to be far away from you. No, but I according to me. But but I don't think so, Barbara. See, no, the but guy has decided. Men. The guy has decided to. You know, let me tell you. Why can't you the, just be honest? The, the, the challenge about honesty is sometimes it can be very brutal. It might be something that can really hurt and you. And sometimes right? let's just be brutal. Maybe no, no, no. You want to also sugarcoat it nicely, yeah? Mm. Especially when you're breaking someone's heart already. Some lady once broke up with me and told me that she's met somebody who uh, is, uh, she said very painful things. You, the guy works where and he has <laughs> what? And I was losing weight every moment she was talking. <laughs> oh, there, there's something about this guy. I was just losing weight on that set. Yes. So you see, uh, I think the standard rule, if I was the one breaking up with this lady, mm -hmm. and I've said, I just don't feel particularly at, you know, uh, keen on this relationship as I had felt back in the day. But we have bad manners generally. In so instead up. of saying, you know, I've met someone taller than you, that is hurtful. You know, Many but times also, someone ghosted me. Yeah, ghosted. So would you rather someone ghost you? you no, I just it. find, just tell me straight up. The Eric, person just went offline on me, no communication, Eric, no many, SMS. Many times, uh, ladies don't, uh, many times uh, ladies don't believe when you tell them an honest thing. What like do you when mean? you tell them honestly, and yeah, it's not it's not you, it's me. I don't no. think men they believe. think they think you're lying. Yeah, they yeah, think there's yeah. Another like you story see now, you you're story. concocting stories about what people say when they're breaking up. No, sometimes no. you're just bored. But you see, instead of say coming, you're and bored. Saying, just say you're bored. No, you you'll, just, you know what, ladies, you start doing. Is it our activity? Should we maybe change what we do and where <laughs> we hang out? No, no, no. It's not our activity. I'm bored with you. You are very boring. Just I'm say tired. that. That is no. what I'm saying. Can we just be straightforward? No, it's Can we stop these tactics that we have? Even if somebody broke up with you very nicely, it's still hurtful. Somebody doesn't true. want you that to be their lives. But just be straightforward about it. That's what I'm saying. Even if it's straightforward. So what is the saying, difference? Even if it's straightforward, you won't believe still. What's the worst breakup you've done? Um, you see? Uh, no, the worst breakup was that one for it's not you. It's not me, it's you. And that, you know you were lying about the worst. words. I was not lying. I was telling the truth. I'm saying it was. A, I'm not saying it was. I'm saying it was a bad experience. No, you wanted to I get out, but you were honest. telling the lady, "It's not you, it's me." And deep down, you knew it was the lady. Just tell her it's but you. Why isn't Barbara believe you when I'm telling her? No. That, yeah, you uh, see, that's why men yeah. lie because you guys don't believe. <laughs> uh, someone can come and tell you very honestly that they are bored and they are having another love I would love prefer interest. that. I would prefer that. Anyway, because uh, I'm also very blunt about it. I'm mm. actually like at, at the moment, I tell people I am not ready to date. Yeah. I'm not in that space, yeah. and I have a lot of a lot of my plate and men seem not to understand mm. that that can be no that that is me but eric is the king of uh, formal breakups maybe you can advise uh, <laughs> yes but he has very this language oh you know Barbara. no 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 i am very i i'm uh, i believe as i keep telling you barbara <laughs> that uh, honesty still is the, the best, best policy. policy so i'll just tell you that uh, i only and i believe in very nice decent breakups mm -hmm. i don't believe in those nasty ones like yours of smashing somebody's no head. why are you always referring to that 12 year story you yeah see the problem? but you smashed right so <laughs> there anyway, was a reason i smashed yeah, this yeah. so anyway i always <laughs> believe in just laying the cards bare and just saying look at the present moment uh, while i thought this relationship would go this way mm -hmm. i'm not particularly keen to pursue it that's better be honest and uh, let's call it a day and I didn't mean to hurt you. If you meet me in town, maybe farther down the road, we can say hi. If I hope you're she not interested, you. why is love you? You can tune in to 94.4. <laughs> yes, yeah, you can and, totally uh, tune in and, and listen, listen to, to my voice. Stories. Yeah, my God. <laughs> Eric, I just go on a very short break. Uh, have you come across Travelog? It's very nice. I have. Yeah. I have. It's I actually a very good magazine. I was looking magazine. at it, and uh, as I've been telling you guys, I'm planning for a serious four-day getaway at Lamo. But and yes. I was How looking on Travelog. The days are the problem, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's been the challenge. I had wanted to go two weeks ago, then I moved it to further down the road until God knows when. But I'll go. All right. Yep. How well? <laughs> Spice up your if life. If you've just joined us, we are the adults in the room and you're tuned in to 94.4 Spice <laughs> FM and we're having a very good time in the studio. Remember, at the top of the hour, we're going to get into the hot topic, which is really, really hot. And uh, we're going to have some very nice conversation. At the, and at 9 o'clock, we're going to be taking all your phone calls and all your feedback. But that, that then not prevent you from sending in your feedback on Twitter and on Instagram or any other media that is close to you. Emmanuel, you couldn't have said it better 
Uh, remember, we are the adults in the room, and what we do here is having unfiltered, no holds bad conversations about the these and that and between men and the women who love them. Listen, if you're in Kapsabet and Kapenguria and Nandi County and the great regions of Eldred, you can catch us live and direct on 96.7. What about in Nakuru? We are streaming live, uh, of course, on our website, which is www.pisefm.co.ke. But if you want to listen on your stereo, we are on 96.0. My name is Eric Omondi. And I am Barbara Mbaka. If you are in Kisumu, Kisi and Kakamega, you can tune in at 0102.5 Spice of Femme. And if you're in Eldoret, that is 96.7. You can also contribute through our social media platform, that is Spice of Femme, KE. In Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah. How are you, my gentleman? I am very good, Barbara. Uh, something is tr- uh, something interesting is happening to me. What Rather is happening that? in my life? What is uh, that? My mom and my wife suddenly. I don't know what started out. Started mm-hmm. it out. Huh? Mm-hmm. They are suddenly very close, Maze. I thought that should be a good thing for you. Okay, I don't know how good that is. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying it's good, or neither am I saying it's bad. Uh-huh. But it's just weird. The sudden uh, camaraderie. All right. Uh, between my mom and my wife. They were not close before? No, they never used to communicate every day. They used to, like, we'd go to the to the house, then mm-hmm. they meet there and talk there. But mm-hmm. they never used to call each other. So we come over on Thursday, we hang out. Mm. Can, you, can you make you this chapter? You should be happy, man. Make, and then now, when you come, I'll, I'll make for you chicken. You know, it wasn't that deep. Yeah. <laughs> so it got me thinking about how, uh, like, how close you should be with your, with mm. your in-laws. Mm. Like I wouldn't, uh, cause you see, uh, it's grown to a very personal thing that she's telling her personal things, small small things. In about the house. like, uh, no, why don't you be? It's easier to wash dishes before you sleep. You know, it starts there. Eh? Mm. Yes. And then now it starts as a friendship. Then Kidogo, your wife starts complaining that your mother-in-law is too much into. And you feel like she's the one who has given the space or the leeway for her. Yeah. No, I think it's a tricky balance. I, I've never been married. I wouldn't know. But mm-hmm. uh, while it's a good thing. Then I don't know if it also can be a bad thing because now your m- wife can report it to your mother in moments' notice. Yeah, that's true. Just, he just walked in. It's one o four a.m. I tell you what would be bad if, uh, if if you're one of those husbands who always consult your mom about. I about, I despise. Like maybe I tell that. my wife at home. Such hey, men. Yeah, I tell my wife at home. Uh, let's take our child to you know Kitengela Primary, for yes. instance. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And then I go and meet my mom, and then I come back home and say, hey, I discussed that with my mom, and I think we should take the child. Why are you discussing it with your mom and not your wife? I think I'm saying that would be annoying. Yes, but there are men who actually do that. They are. Yes, there are men. But also, do women want to completely replace your mother? No. So what would be the sort of the sequence? That is your mother. First and foremost, we don't want to be your mother. I had a story, Eric, Mm. uh, that if you put your, one of the blunders uh, many men do, uh, Mm. is they put a picture, a big picture of their mother in their house. What is that? that Women hate that. Yeah, that is a very... Why would you be doing that? (laughs) See, it's my mother. I also put my own mother or my own father on the screen. I mean, on, on, our house, on, on the house. In but the why house are we thing. competing? Like, you we never are not be competing. My yes, I can't be your so mother. what's the issue with me let's telling ha- my let, mother? This is my house. This is my house. You're my husband. So let us have a picture of you and me. Then we can have an album of our mothers <laughs> in the bedroom. <laughs> no, I'm not getting this one. You know, it, it's like a government office. You know, a government office, you have to put the president's <laughs> picture. And that is fine. But th- this is my house. You are the president. I am the vice president. But let me so really, why are we having another party Eric, in you, this house? Barbara, have, Eric and Barbara, have you ever noticed the way, uh, for instance, if I'm, met, if I'm married to Barbara? Yes. You see there, she's talking about my mother. I don't put her picture. Eh? Mm. But her relatives are always in your dicks. Have you ever noticed Yeah, that? there's a friend no, of mine. It's not all women. It's interesting no, you say that. My friend, uh, his wife used to be really upset about his brothers coming from Kisumu to visit. Mm-hmm. He'd really get upset. He'd be like, oh, his, his nanny, wife. Uh, yeah, his wife. He, he's just woken up and he's eating again. You know, she'd complain about the most uh, mundane of things. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's had seven slices of bread. Oh, he's sleeping until 7.15 a.m. and they should be waking up really early. So she'd complain so much until the guy would decide to, say, decide to send their brothers back in the village. Uh-huh. Immediately after, all her relas from Machakos would come. And there'll be like four of them. Oh, yeah. this is my sister, my cousin. So women do yeah, that. No, I, 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 that's debatable. And I'm going to give an example of myself and my life. With your many relatives from <laughs> Coloman. <laughs> no, but they, not, not those ones. When I got married, when mm. I was married, mm. I was in a scenario where my husband's relatives were the ones in my house. 
and not my relatives. And this is why my father was very, and he's always very strict. When any of his daughters are getting married, the first thing he says it, and he says it in public mm. during your wedding, please note all lawyer relatives that this girl is getting married. It is not a warrant for you to be visiting her and sleeping there. My father says that very openly. Yes. Unfortunately, he didn't say that in my wedding, in my sisters. But when I got married, it was reversed. For the first four years, I was staying with my relatives from my in -law, uh, from mm -hmm. my husband's side. Mm -hmm. And very I didn't have a problem with it. That's what I'm saying. You cannot say it's a women thing. I think it's a, it cuts across both sexes. I don't like people at my house at all. Yes, it cuts across. So sometimes my, it depends. One of my it's fears is that upon getting married, Mm -hmm. I find a woman who, in fact, my sister used to joke that she prays she finds somebody who is, be re, um, what is Yatima in English? Orphan. Uh, she, who is an orphan. Yes. Like her. So, because she didn't know how to blend into another family because, her, you know, our mother passed on. Yes. So one of my biggest fear is getting somebody who has many brothers and sisters who want to come over at my house for so long. You know, you like loving people <laughs> at a you distance. See, you have a problem, my And then you can't, you can't tell your wife, don't tell your relatives. Yeah, yeah. No. That'll be a, unless you agree before you get married. But even if when, even after getting married, I think it's hard to prevent. No, I think it's something you both discuss. For example, if you realize you have a husband like Eric. Look at the way she's pointing at yeah. me. A lot of mother. <laughs> I just want my, like no, you see I, now, you, you've told me. Let me tell yes. you for the listener. But me, I Barbara have a very says, loving family. Barbara They're says all over that uh, yes. randomly somebody can call and say she's at the door. Yes. From Ikolomani. Am I, yeah. Am now I, would have, I would have a I'm okay day. with this. They're the my relatives. I have space. Yeah. Or, or she, that person would call and say, hey, hey. I'm at uh, the bus stop, but there are no matatus coming. Come pick me up without having said prior that they are coming. You see me, now we can't be in a relationship like that. Yeah, we can't. We, know, we can uh, be in a we, lot of problems. Yes. Those guys should call first or before coming. You know, you have some peculiar European behaviors, no, which I understand. Not, <laughs> you know the African peculiar. culture, I understand. It needs to be African culture is not inconveniencing. It's mm -hmm. never been. You love people from a distance. No, you do know that. No, but there should be a balance, I think. Yes, yes. I agree. They let there be a in, balance. If you're going to bring in my, if, if you're going to bring in your relatives, allow me, my relatives then to stay. Personally, I thought it was vice versa. Actually, men bring their relatives. Also, oh, also Emmanuel, uh, in-laws can become outlaws. You know, they can even just I start agree. coming into your bedroom and opening yeah, your fridge. True. Yes. I told you about a friend of mine who used to come to my house back in the day mm -hmm. and take milk mm -hmm. via the jar. The jar. Mm -hmm. Like, just the like, hey, just so call fast. him out. Call him out. So just like, take the milk from the bottle. You know those big milks? Yes. Then it starts uh, going. <laughs> But and I'm standing there in disbelief. Yeah, so, yeah, people can be too familiar. I think uh, there's a healthy parameter yes. that somebody needs to put. And even also, with family. And also, yes. though, they can even start, uh, especially for male relatives, they can mm -hmm. start sending your wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because now uh, I'm your brother. Yes. Now you need, this is big. Yes. You know? I don't yes. like those things, by the way. I don't like that. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Western communities. Where, where Western communities, yeah, communities yeah. have that they thing. They can send your wife far to fetch something <laughs> so far. Agnes, uh, you are not busy. Go to Kamrembo all the way. And then I'll tell you when you get there how to get the chicken. Yeah. Yes. And it's like 35 kilometers And away. you're wondering what's wrong. And if you refuse, they start lecturing you. So, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's terrible. Eric, what's, how are you on your... I'm, I'm on fine. Your... Uh, on my way here, I was uh, reading something so sad. Mm -hmm. There's a Nigerian, um, there's a Nigerian uh, government official. Mm -hmm. He's actually the vice president of the Senate of Nigeria mm -hmm. who went to Germany to get treated. He wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. So what happened to him was very interesting. In fact, I was watching a video uh, coupled up with the article. Mm -hmm. uh, his compatriots uh, started beating him up. What? These are Nigerians who live in Germany. Mm -hmm. They beat him up and they were saying they need him to go back to Nigeria and build five-star hospitals. And they don't want officials from their country to be coming to Europe for treatment. Mm -hmm. And then in ad an adjacent article... Uh, the ICE, the ICE is the, um, the like immigration Mission. version of the American, whatever. Mm. They're called Americans Immigration and Custom Enforcement. Mm -hmm. So they were making rounds in companies, mm -hmm. looking for undocumented or people who are out of status in mm -hmm. the United States mm -hmm. so that they can ship them out of the U.S. They say uh, that there are a lot of uh, companies that is employing them and mm -hmm. getting cheaper labor. And they want to de um, declutter all, all these illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. But now, what was on my mind was how Africans, like this Nigerian case, how mm -hmm. this story ties together for me. Mm -hmm. This Nigerian guy takes a lot of money. Yes. He's been accused of stealing. Mm -hmm. He takes a lot of money from the government coffers, which mm -hmm. is uh, the normal... Oh, he has a, he's been accused of Yes, Nigeria. so he takes a lot of money from the Wanainchi, mm -hmm. steals the money, 
runs down all you know uh, dispensaries and health and roads and whatnot mm -hmm. when they get as little as a s sniff or a flu they fly out to europe yes but then now the african gets so exasperated decides to leave their countries to go to americas and europe now the governments in the west are sending africans back so it begs the question, shouldn't we maybe now start working to make our systems better for our own sake? Yeah. I think that's Can you imagine Manuel someone rounding us, yeah. somebody rounding us at Spice because we are illegal aliens? Yeah, and then yeah. you're taken to the airport in Pajama. That's very embarrassing. Not even shouldn't we. Like, this should happen like yesterday. Because yeah. many, I remember there was a clip I showed you guys about the Ghanaian president. I liked saying, his speech, yes, yeah. Saying the way we That was last week. Even, even as a black American, mm -hmm. you'd be proud if where your, your ancestors are from, is mm -hmm. do, uh, if that place is doing well. Yeah. Yes. Like if it's a rich, uh, functional, you know, normal country, normal first world country. Yes. You'd, mm -hmm. be, you'd be even treated better where, where you are yeah. as a diasporian or an expatriate. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think, uh, I think that, that, that article is spot on. Yes, yes, it totally is. And I was thinking to myself how I love going to Cape Town and everything functions. Mm -hmm. We know the story of South Africa, the apartheid. It and took whatnot. a while for them to but get there. But the, the, the beauty of a functioning city, you know, water and streets that are well lit. I was telling a bunch of my friends about elaborately about the uh, city bus, how you get in with a card and it's very comfortable. Yes. And I, and I keep wondering, why can't we do that here? So it's We always have plans for that, but we never materialize. Never materialize. Yeah. But again, as you're saying, when you talked about uh, our leaders going abroad for medication, I think yeah. the same system across the globe. Africa oh, is uh, a country. Yeah. Yes, majority. We see that even with our own leaders. Why can't we improve our own medical facilities? Yeah. We are ever saying that year in, year out. Yeah. So maybe it's time... There's one I saw, us? There's one I saw uh, the Tanzanian president's wife in a local uh, Tanzanian hospital. Mm. Yeah. And she was when admitted, yeah, yeah, when she was admitted. Yeah, she was admitted in a local hospital. Can you imagine? Uh, our, but true. then again, it was local and it just looked local. Eh? Like it just looked like it has... He even, he even travels the economy. I saw that. We lack excellence. Oh, but, uh, we lack excellence. Even our passports are so weak. Like, yeah. like the I thought we were changing the, them. Like, okay. not, not, a, not a matter of the, as in. Not the physical. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. You get what you mean. So One countries. time in Qatar, I would right. booked to stay in Qatar for a night and then fly mm. to the U.S. the next day. You're on transit? And yes. And these gentlemen at the immigration desk refused mm -hmm. for me to enter. He said, no, no, we don't allow Kenya. No, Kenya. No, no, no. Europe and America only. Oh <laughs> so I had to sneak into Qatar because I had booked for a room. Because of our passport. Can you imagine that? Yeah. My God, Can you imagine that's... having to get a visa to go to South Africa? Yeah. That is so strange. Yeah. And, it's in the, and we're in the same continent. Yeah, because yes. they think people are sneaking into yes, South Africa. Yes, but yes. Kenya is always sneaking into places. Let's not lie. But yeah. the, because of the bigger reason that we need to sort our country out. If we sort it out... You know the way uh, your mother used to say, Usikule kwa jirani, like, don't yes. eat in the neighbor's house. Yes. But there was food at home, you know. Yeah. But if the neighbor had made a very nice sumptuous chicken and there was order, you would find yourself hanging around there. So it's the same reason. And we will make some changes on that. You're hanging out with Spice FM 94.4. We are the adults in the room and we'll be back. This Spice is 94. up your life. For Spice FM. Those are the sounds of Babyface Edmonds. Eric, did you know that Babyface has a road named after him because of the songs that he was churning out? Are you serious? All right. A 65-mile road named after you. Uh, just because of singing dope songs. That's nice. Yeah, you yeah, can, yeah, you you can, can only get, get... You can, It only gets better. Yeah, it only gets mm -hmm. better, man. And you can only hear such songs on 94.4. Spice FM, the home of soul music and authentic conversation. That is absolutely right. Remember, Spice FM is the first radio coming alive in visual format. That means that if you're in Namibia, in Rundu, or Shakati, Katima, Mulilo, you can stream us on www.spicefm.co.ke. But if you're in Nairobi, the areas of Central Business District, uh, all the way in Buruburu or Kitusuri, Nyari, we are live and direct on 94.4. My name is Eric Omondi. And I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Economy. Money. If you're in Mombasa, that is 87.9. If you're in Malindi, that is 97.6. And if you're in Nyeri, that is 97.4. And if you're in Mildoret or Nandi County, that is 96.7. Our social media handles are SpiceFMKE on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'd like to read a comment from one gentleman called Batik Karim, who says, The last time my in-laws visited my house, I ended up losing my undergarments and socks. They were new, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe Kareem can answer that. <laughs>
Maybe right. they should go for prayer. You never know where they took for somebody. <laughs> no, it's not about a prayer. Check him on go back. Maybe <laughs> what he's just trying to say, he lost his clothes, I think. Oh, somebody stole something. Yeah, so oh, when he had people... Pole, Sana, that's terrible. Yeah, remember at the top of the hour, we're going to be taking your phone calls 0719012600. At the top of the nine o'clock hour, we're going to be mm. taking your phone calls and your feedback mm-hmm. about the hot topic, which I'm, I'm going to share almost at the top of the hour, man. So, so Barbara, yes, darling. what's on your mind? What's on my mind? Yesterday, our conversation was a bit heated. And by the time it ended, I was looking at some of the Facebook comments and the callers. Mm-hmm. And I gathered something. And maybe it's my perception or mm-hmm. how I understood it. Mm-hmm. We have a problem with sex education in our country, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. We, want to, the, we want to pass the blame to someone else. And I'm going to talk right now as a parent. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think that we should start sex education early. Uh-huh. But in stages, because a child who is five years old is different from a child who is 10 years old, 11. Mm. And for me, what I have done with my child is I have told her, and it's, she's a girl and she's five, no one should touch your private part. And if anyone touches it, let me know. The only people who touch it or maybe needs to clean is either me or our help. We call mm. her auntie. And, uh, you know, like those two people. Mm. If anyone in school hits you or say, tell the teacher. Yes. I think that's where we can start the conversation, depending on each and every family. Because the way we were brought up, mm. we really did not go through a lot of sex education unless it was initiation time. That's for right. either, depending on the community you come with. Come with. Right. And some people, even their parents didn't uh, do that mm. or their aunties. So for me, I think it's high time as a parent, as an uncle, an auntie, or you have a niece and a nephew, take responsibility. Talk to your teenagers your teenagers mm. don't blame the media or castigate it for what it puts across i'm not saying what is being put across is wrong however can you filter it stop blaming everyone or leaving sex education for the school teachers for your of someone else to do that because people yesterday were complaining when we, were, we had the subject of sex uh premarital sex mm. and when i said it was a choice i think some people felt uh, there's a lady who actually went and said we are spoiling their youth. And I felt that these conversations we were having were for adults in the room, not your children. Take responsibility of your own children, of your own community and your own relatives. So do you think it's like a conversation for uh, our generation going forward? Yes, that we need to do more sex education. Because you mm. see, like uh, my parents, uh, I, I, I can't even imagine them bringing up such a topic uh, <laughs> my way. In fact, me, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. I used to wonder how I was born. Eh? Because my mom and my dad were never even in close proximity. There's one time I were saw them hugging and I really laughed. <laughs> like you want a hug. <laughs> hey. So I, I, think, I think that's a conversation for our generation going yeah. forward. Yes. Yeah. Do you we agree? Need to no, open no, yeah, totally. I think a lot of us have abandoned that role for teachers. Yes, we've left it to schools. And also, I mean, everybody learns about sex everywhere else except from parents. Yes. And it's uh, quite bizarre if you think about it because these parents, these kids came from you. Yes. And then now you've sort of tossed them to the world. So yeah. uh, they're learning information that is not proper from mm-hmm. peers in their teen years and then they go implement them. So, yeah, so I, I agree with you 100%. Yes, we need to mm-hmm. bring about sex education at home. Yes. Especially, I think, for, for, for boys, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially like when I think about myself, okay, mm-hmm. I know we are on national radio. I think it's global, <laughs> yes. but uh, I'm doing this for the boys out there. They, yeah. You see, even you know, there's a lot of conversation about, um, uh, like, if you're the way you're saying, mm-hmm. you, you, t- you talk to your daughter and tell her yeah. if anyone uh, does touches t- you in t- t- approach, yes, you. yes, come and tell me. Yes, I, I've never had any conversation like that. Uh, geared towards boys. I think we need to start that. Yeah, we should. Mm. Especially when they're really young. Mm. In, in my experience, I'll tell you a very short story. In mm. my, when I was in high school, mm-hmm. I was in Form 1. I went to some school uh, in the Rift Pali. Mm-hmm. So I was in Form 1. It was chaotic. We used to be bullied. Nini, nini. Mm-hmm. So there was once I was walking to my, to my dorm mm-hmm. and I met this guy. It was like at midnight. You know, on Friday, guys, I don't know. Why how are you walking to, at night? I was from the entertainment. We okay. were having entertainment on Friday night. Mm-hmm. And then guys would sneak in drinks sometimes and mm-hmm. drink and uh, there'd be a lot of chaos. Mm-hmm. So I was walking towards my uh, my dorm mm-hmm. and I meet this guy. Mm-hmm. So we are alone on the on the path. Mm-hmm. So this guy looks at me in the eye. He was taller than me. He, and mm-hmm. then his breath was smelling of alcohol. Eh? Mm-hmm. So he tells me, man, not today, today. Can you, uh, what I'll do to you today. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Yeah, you wanted I hope to you give you a full body massage by force. <laughs> <laughs> so is. I looked at him. Like, full body so massage. I thought he was joking and he was serious. Like his face was like yeah. I could feel his breath like right yeah. next to my, yeah. my nose. Yeah. So he like, Leo, hey, today you will see what I'll do to you. So I, I had to plead with him to let me go <laughs> sleep. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I don't want to go and sleep. Just let me go and sleep. <laughs> 
So he's like, no, today, today is Eric, stop day. laughing. This is something no, you so But then you see how Eric is laughing. That's I know. exactly how men react. When you tell yeah. them. So I tell you what happened. I I, I, I went to my, my, my luckily he let, he let me go. Mm -hmm. right? I hope so you were I not harmed and you were not assaulted. No, I, I'll, I'll you check my inbox. For <laughs> <laughs> check your inbox for I'm sorry, details. darling. I'll give you a hug after this. Yeah, but anyway, my the, the, the long story short, I yes. went to my room, my, my dorm, my mm -hmm. bed. And I, I like I'd, I'd just been, uh, you know, assaulted. Roughed you know? up. Yeah, just been assaulted. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't tell any anyone. Mm -hmm. And I no, stayed with that story for four years. No, you bring an important point. I remember when I was mm -hmm. much younger, mm -hmm. uh, we'd use uh, public transport yes. to go to church and whatnot. And mm -hmm. at one time I sat uh, near some man, mm -hmm. and then he made me sit on him. Yes. And it was just very uneasy, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. way he was trying to position me. So, yes, I mm -hmm. think a lot of conversations need to be had about boys and abuse and molestations because nobody talks to boys about nothing. Eric, okay. I want to hear more of that story after this very short break. Remember, you hang out to the adults in the room on 94.4. Spice <laughs> FM, don't touch that dial. Spice FM. You're hanging out with the adults in the room. My name is Emmanuel Kisingani, and you're tuned in to 94.4 Spice FM, the home of authentic conversation yeah. and soul music. Absolutely right, Kisingani. My name is Eric Komondi. Listen, if you're in Kapenguria, all the way down in Nandi County, Kapsabet, we are live and direct on 96.7. Remember, you're more than welcome to give us some of your feedback at the top of the hour on the number 0719-012-600. Spice FM is the first radio coming alive in visual format, which means if you're by chance stuck in traffic in Upper Hill earlier, Upper Hill, area my goodness what did i eat today <laughs> if you're stuck in traffic in upper hill area or if you're in the areas of hardy and current you can simply cut the action on www.spicefm.co.ke and you'll see and hear us and if you are logged in online or already on facebook twitter and instagram you can catch us live also and contribute to the conversation on Spice FM KE, let me repeat that. Spice FM KE on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Our telephone numbers are 0716-012600. That is 0716-02600. And our SMS code is 40127. I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as, as the Duchess of Ecolo Money. And uh, before we went on the on the or before we went and uh, on the break, we we were having a very heartfelt conversation. Yes, we were. And Eric, you were telling a story. Yes, I was saying. So, mm -hmm. um, the, so this man who was a neighbor, mm -hmm. so he put me on himself mm -hmm. in a funny way. You know mm -hmm. the way you can sense. You know, people like to assume the kids are mm -hmm. senseless, yes. but they're just grown human beings in they're smaller bodies. Yes. yes. So, so I was very uncomfortable, and then farther down, a uh, few weeks down the line. Uh, I was walking around the estate and he'd call me and say, come, come watch a movie. Mm -hmm. I think he was a sexual politician. Uh -huh. Thank goodness nothing happened to me. Uh -huh. But I think you're right in saying that we need to have conversations around men and boys' safety. Yes. Yeah. Not just... Not, I, not only I, girls. I know a lot is meted against women, but yes. yes. So it's also important to have conversations about boys being I safe. totally agree. And right. also the, 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 the boys who've gone through a lot of uh, trouble, like yeah. myself, maybe should speak out. Yeah. Yes, yes. But as as you're saying jokingly, mostly just men crack up. Yes, they like, find it funny. If you're in a social place and you say, oh, this chick was trying to forcefully maybe make out with me, guys will be like, <laughs> yes, yeah. you know, and so yeah. nobody, nobody thinks yeah, you're being true. serious. Or like she was grabbing me in a funny way. Guys are just like, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I you think know. the sex education needs to be There, are. It's, we need discussed. to really inculcate it in our families. However, what's on my mind? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, I've been thinking about marriage. Mm -hmm. My aunt came to visit. At mm. last, mm. Mazel. Not, not for purposes of getting married. Finally, there's a visitor in that house. No, no, no. Not for purposes of getting Sorry to bust your that is <laughs> <laughs> So my aunt came to visit me the other day and she was, she was telling me, you could tell under her voice there was some seriousness. So she's like, so what, what are you up to? Like, you know, your house looks nice. So what are you planning? You know, is there somebody you're seeing and mm. whatnot? I'm sure it sounded better in Django. <laughs> <laughs> my aunt rarely speaks in Django. She's right. asking me in English and Swahili. Mm -hmm. All right. Very, in fact, when I talk to her in Django, she becomes quite shy. You've uh -huh. met her. She's interesting. Yes. Anyway, so mm -hmm. I've uh, been thinking about marriage and mm -hmm. uh, not so much the marriage itself. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about how do you know you're with the right person to marry? One. The other mm -hmm. thing I've been thinking about is that how does one know they are ready for marriage? 
Like, is it a stage? Like, now you, Barbara, did you? You told me yesterday that there's a time you're like, if, if when he gets to November and he doesn't propose, yeah. I'm going to come out. I was so, young and silly. All right. But so, I get so, what you're saying. I so understand. would you say there's there's a caveat to age for a man mm -hmm. or even a woman? For instance, women like to say, or rather men like to say that mm -hmm. uh, when I get stable financially, mm -hmm. then I'd get married. Yeah. So supposing you're stable financially now with all these um, uh, apps that people are making around, yeah. If you are to develop an app at 23 and you get millions of Kenyan shillings, yeah. would you then qualify to marry, would you say? I don't think so. I think you can qualify for marriage, uh, for me, my personal opinion. Mm. You qualify to marriage as long as your for clock, marriage, yeah, yes. for marriage, mm. depending on your own personal clock. For example, Manu uh, married, very, uh, maybe got married about three, two years ago. Uh, yeah. Yes, you knew the lady you were dating for. <laughs> Seven. Why are you doubting me? <laughs> no, I like the way she always uses you as an example. Uh, you want me? Okay, I, I, I want you to someone who's in studio. Yes. You yes. see, so for him, he took, uh, he took seven years yes. dating the person, getting to know the person. Then three years ago, he, they, they got hitched. He was dragged to the altar. <laughs> <laughs> and but there's, and uh, for, for him, Manu was mature. He wanted to make sure he's built a house. Yes. He was financial. You know, there are things yes. Manu want to, wanted to do. Yes. But there are men who are not like that. For, there are men who, are, who feel like, I am at past 25. I feel I'm ready. So it, it's a personal choice as to how or when you want to get married. What about the person? Like you, how did you know the person you married? Personally, well? at that particular point, I didn't want to get straight. I just felt I wanted to settle down. Yeah. And uh, I was doing business because I started doing business at quite an early age yes. when I started a company. So I felt like when I would go for a meeting, people would actually tend to what's the word, tend to hit on me a lot mm. because they thought I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. So for me, marriage, yeah, I always say, so uh, you use it you to married cover. so that you can... No, as I'm saying some of the reasons. If I actually sat down, I'll tell you the truth. Oh. When I sat down after many years, when my marriage got dis uh, dissolved, uh -huh. I sat down and, uh, of course, you go through. I went to depression. I think I've told you guys, mm -hmm. I've shared that with you guys on a personal base, uh -huh. that I, there's a time I went, I was depressed for a whole year. I, that's the time I realized that you, these friends you have, some of them are very fake. Mm -hmm. People just disappeared into thin air. Yes, God knows yes. where they went. But my family was there for me. It took time for me to really get to know myself, to understand that being alone. I used to read that books of prayer of a, uh, uh, prayers of a praying wife, prayer mm -hmm. of a praying woman. I read those books. I have so many books yes. I was reading. But putting those books aside, it took me to understand, did I get married to the right reasons? Mm. T.G. Jake says something of, sometimes most of us marry the man who came to their life for a reason and or a season mm. and not the person who was actually appointed for you for the lifetime. The reason I ask this question... Yes. so mind. that's what I'm saying. It's personal. Yeah. Some people at 23... I have one of my sisters who got married at 23. And right now, she's in her 30s. They're okay. Mm. And I know I have an auntie who got married at 45. And she's been seven. So for our, all of us, it's very different depending on what... Yes, so, I, I don't so, know. So you wouldn't pinpoint it on age. But yes, I would not I, The reason I age. asked this question was not so much that I'm thinking, so I get married. Uh -huh. Yes. I've just been looking around my friends who are married. And mm -hmm. I think 95 maybe percent of them got married for absolute wrong reasons. Yes, Whatever true. the reasons may be. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so well, some is because be, someone got pregnant. Well, yeah, then you find yeah, yourself many, getting many married. Yeah, I have friends who are like that. Many people get trapped into getting not, married. Maybe not, not trapped. Not, no, not, maybe Ma not trapped. Many people some impregnate are. their way into marriage. <laughs> <laughs> this trapping business is funny. Yes, let's, let, let's use better language. But let me ask you they were question. not trapped. Oh, yeah, yes. Someone got pregnant and, this, uh, and the man said, I'm going to be a gentleman. I'm not going to let this girl suffer. Which is a wrong thing to do. Yes, but many people don't know that don't get married because someone is pregnant yeah, yeah what are you gonna ask i was gonna ask you why why, why do you think that uh, this this 95 uh, percent guys got married for the wrong reason because, they tell you be, no yes there are you more share, there share. are more complaints than happier times uh -huh. and then it just doesn't fit i feel like people don't look for people who fit the contours of their needs whatever those needs are Mm. People are very, it, we lead our lives very, it's very happenstance like. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oops, we met in Tao, but here we are, we are dating. Uh -huh. so and before you realize, we oops, we're in the house. Yes, we don't interrogate our thoughts. Can I afford a child? Can I afford a girlfriend? Yes. Can I afford, am I emotionally available to be in a relationship? Yes, but, and people but never but understand when you, you tell them, I am not ready. Yes, they cause, think you're cause lying. A lot of the conversations, most of my friends were married and some who have, put women or girls in or, or, or um, ladies in motherly states, mm. they push their agenda for marry, marry, marry. Mm -hmm. But then you, when you ask why, they don't give you anything tangible. Solid. You know. But I think, uh, honestly, from and I'm just saying this as a friend of yours, I think sometimes it's uh, more your fear speaking. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's why it's so convenient that at the top of the hour we're going to be asking uh, what your fears are when you're getting into a relationship. What are your biggest fears mm -hmm. when you're getting into a relationship? Because when you get into a relationship, there are some things you're afraid of. Yes. And uh, as Eric's uh, friend, I've known him for quite a while. I think one of one of his fears is not meeting like he, him. He wants Why the right person. Can Eric say he was no, honest? He, he, he decided said. to take the baton. Yes, I'm so honest. In fact, Emmanuel is one of those oh. people who keeps telling me to marry <laughs> every I morning. know. I've had him telling you. Oh, morning. You've woken up well. Marry. Oh, so you're going to bed. No, Mari. you're and alone. Eric, you ask him why. I was, he I was having him. this uh, conversation at home today with my wife. I was saying, is there any right person? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do you think, Barbara, there's, there's that a right person? You could have right, right preferences. Mm -hmm. Like, you could have a, a list of preferences uh -huh. that you, you, you'd want. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that there's a right individual uh, out there. In, in as the a Christian, Maybe not as for a, you, as but a, I, I as a Christian that I am. Is. As a Christian that I am, there is a very nice portion of the scripture that says that he who finds a wife, finds which is a, a person, thing. has found a good thing, thing. and obtains. Is it a person or an institution? No, he so that finds a wife. wife. Yeah, but the wife, the wife is that specific to someone? Am I? It's a yes, general, see, their wife a, a, is someone's wife. A, 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 a wife, you know, the institution. Wife, of a, 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 not the, the, the institution. No, marriage, marriage is the institution, institution. but a wife is a, a person, person, man. Why okay, do you want so to politicize this? Yes, I'm wondering. <laughs> marriage is you the institution. You must say a husband is an institution. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not getting Ask what him. I'm saying. No, I get you clear. He okay. who gets a wife. Yes. A, what is a wife? Someone a person. A person. Someone who's no. the, uh, someone who you're gonna spend your life with. You know, someone who Sometimes you'll share. Sometimes Emmanuel, you shock me. A wife is a female. So this person <laughs> could be anyone. A wife? No, it cannot be a man. At no, least. I'm not. <laughs> no, yeah. It can depend. No, but I'm saying yes. a wife is a female human being who you take up and do your nuptials. So with. according to you, there is a, a a human being who's been born somewhere. Particularly, okay. Are you asking? Are, 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 are you easy. asking that? Because does because, everyone have a soulmate? Yeah, because because not soulmate. That there is a person somewhere, maybe in Gidurai, <laughs> yes. in traffic, yes. who's supposed to be his wife. Yeah, I think, yeah. Think there's, there's one, an, I think there's, so. Trust yes, me. There's an Eve for another. Yes, because with his character, there has there's to an, be someone. There has to be some, even yes. with your character. Even with my even character. Even with your character. character. Surely. 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 We can't just happen. Your missus, you think it was it was a joke? Seven years is no joke. God was planning for you that wife. So what if you travel out of Kenya and go to live Then your person a, is in Senegal. So it's just the person you meet oh, in a group. It's the person you decide for the person to be. Uh, so it's been fated and destined for yes, this yes. person. That yes, and, so. and again, not everyone is supposed to get married. Or not everyone solitude, will get married. I keep saying solitude is an option. Yes. And uh, I mean, I would rather be alone and very, very happy than be in most of these marriages. I see oh, today. no, no. Don't use the marriages <laughs> you see as a yardstick for your own marriage. No, if I, I was those people in those marriages. Unfortunately for him, <laughs> no. what? The uh, sample Barbara, of, yes? if I was those people in those marriages, yes. I would far much leave that union and be happily alone than to be in a contentious relationship. A friend of mine once told me, you'd <laughs> rather cry in a Mercedes <laughs> than smile in a bicycle. That's, That's for her. Uh, she yeah. was very honest. She had issues and I was like, hey, mama, just step out. Or mark, just take, she told me, Barbara, I'd rather cry in a Mercedes. But also, my Eric, you, Eric, that chick should pay for that ad. <laughs> <laughs> But I get what you're saying, Baba. Yes, darling. Yeah. But then, <laughs> no, but the point I'm trying to make, also marrying rich is hectic. It's a full-time job, I think. Uh, I think uh, you need to marry the, 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 the point I'm trying to make is um, I would want the reasons for marrying to far outweigh the reasons not to. But yes. I think... Ah, yeah. I do, be, be, before, no, I have to ask you a question. Uh, uh, let, you. Me, let me finish. Uh. I feel like uh, only in feelings mm -hmm. do we not employ logic. Like if yes. Emmanuel wanted to come to work, mm -hmm. today when I was leaving Gongro to come here, mm -hmm. I had to uh, look at the clock, look at the traffic, and then I, I portion a good time to so get that I get to work in good time, right? Yes. Now, only, uh, only in relationship or matters of the heart do we abandon logic. Yes. Somebody is a um, serious alcoholic. Serious yes. drinks and, like a fish, and you know it. But you're like, but I love him. And he you cannot change. start saying like, if I call my boss and say, you know, I really wanted to come to work, but it's Friday and it's popping. I don't feel like I'd get fired. True, right? Yes. So why don't you employ the same when Logic. it comes to marriage? Because I'm in love, Mazejo. I'm in love, Baba. No, 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 no. I'm Baba, in love. love. I think we need to employ a little logic. That's why I was asking those questions. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you can. But I understand. In four seconds. How about the right time? Do you think actually there's a right time for marriage? No, there is no. For me. There isn't, think so. you think? There, there is no time, right time for marriage. Those were the sounds of Joe Thomas.
Mr. Lips himself, man. Hi. Joe had serious lips, but that uh, reign is now taken over by Neo. Mm-hmm. Neo now is taking out that title, man. You're hanging out with the adults in the room. My name is Emmanuel Kisiangani. We're tuned into 94.4 Spice FM. That is absolutely right. And if you're listening from Mombasa, the regions of Moatate, Kisau Nichuda, Nyali, Mikindani, all the way and all the environs of Mombasa town or county, we are on 87.9. What if you're in Kisumu, Masat, Kibos, Obunga, Nyalenda? We are on one or 2.5 and remember you can watch and hear us live on www.spicefm.co.ke we are the adults in the room where we have no holds bad conversations about women and the men who love them my name is eric omondi and i am barbara mbaka also known as the duchess of Ecolo money we are the home of authentic soul music rhythm and blues if you're in a kuru you can tune in at 96.0 and if you're in eldoret or the nandi county that is 96.7 and if you are on the social media platform or anywhere where you can contribute to the conversation for today and our topic please con- uh, go online on spice fm ke on instagram Facebook or Twitter and you can call us within the top of the hour on 0719-012600 that is 0719-02600 let us know what you think about the conversation if you've gone through something similar or you just want to contribute or just say hi yeah Barbara you've said it so well there's nothing I need to repeat man when we're going on the break Eric I was asking you a question because we were having a very interesting conversation Eric was asking if uh, when you're about to get married if there's a right person if there's a right time and uh, he explained something about the right person we didn't agree but we agreed to disagree and I was asking Eric uh, is there also a a right time I think the right time for me would be you need to carry your weight number one Yes. Mm. I've heard stories about people marrying in other people's houses, which I think is preposterous <laughs> and bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, that, that okay. We just married here. You know, we started answer to just begin like me and Alice. <laughs> if I tell you, we got married in someone's house. I think that's weird. That's bad so first of all, you need to have a space, and then the idea of bringing a whole other human being in a child yes. without any plan whatsoever. I think is very. I think funny we need to, to change me. from that. We're you know the way yeah. those songs for plates that come with kids. Those yes. things are not true. <laughs> yes, you have to be very careful. <laughs> yeah, you have to be very very careful because your child will yawn. Thoroughly, <laughs> while looking at you deep in there. That is true. And you know you can't turn and tell a baby you can't afford milk. Yes, I understand. Yeah. But I said when you find a wife, you find favor, Amma. Please. You no, no. no. Yes, you, you find know, favor. The human, please, brain, the human brain is so big, it's coiled. Eh? Mm. Yes. It's for thinking purposes. You but need we to rarely do. use any, it. Any time you don't uh, strategize, you'll mm. experience tragedy. Yes. The idea to get pregnant for a whole month. Mm. Then you start calling someone that you may have fanyika gafla. Check your yeah, she just gave birth, uh, but, but, but now we are panicking because, you know, the horse is telling us that uh, we are going to be chased. As if you no, didn't no, no. know for nine yes, months. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, plan, 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 I would say. Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah. the right time so would be planning when you can afford a child and a woman. Because, you know, a child will want to eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> Three times a day. For a long time, even 18 years. <laughs> like your child is still eating. How old is your child? Five. Eating, they are doing nothing. <laughs> yes. She she's then like contribute like, with she's wheels. Like a, she's she tenant. just calls now and cries. <laughs> and eating, that's funny. So you can only get them when you can oh, afford yeah. them. He's saying that because he had me talking to my daughter just before the show. And she was asking me, Mommy, you'll bring gummy bears. You see, they're always eating. <laughs> Without contributing anything. Without contributing anything. Do, and then they want to watch high like end broke, TV. They're like, you should be coming over here to run your Twitter. <laughs> they are, they need to do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, that brings us to uh, the hot topic of yes. today. And uh, the reason I love this hot topic is I'm sure we're going to share a lot of stories. What's Just, our hot topic? What are your biggest fears about relationships? Mm. What are your biggest fears about, about relationships? Mary, can you break it down for us? And wherever else you're listening, I just want to invite the listener. If you have a fear that, you know, you have or have had in the past, I was speaking to a lady friend of mine uh, some time back, and uh, she just used to tell me that one of her fears was ending up alone back in the day. Why do but, people fear that? But, but, but uh, I think the thing is, uh, we are talking about what your greatest fear hmm. about relationships would be. I'm whether uh, you're in it or whether not. you're in, in it, it or, or not, not or, or you are in one and left i think for one uh-huh. if i can fungu a sakaf uh-huh. uh, i read a book asked, asked. i read a book back in the day by a gentleman called sydney portier uh-huh. sydney portier was the first uh, african-american um uh, art and uh, actor 
to mm. win the Oscar uh, Oscar, Oscar Awards. Mm. And I like him because he's very he's a very he's a very well measured man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So much he wrote a book called The Measure of a Man. I think mm. something along those lines, a well measured man. Mm -hmm. But Sidney argues in his book, in his memoir, he says mm -hmm. Uh, the measure of a man is how well he provides for his family. I agree. One of the biggest fears, maybe not fears because I don't have the spirit of fear, but the biggest concern I have mm -hmm. is the inability to, to provide, provide for, for my family. family. Mm. Like now say I get married mm -hmm. and then I'm fired. And mm -hmm. then we are kicked out of the house. And then my kid has milk has coming out and flies. Uh, why that do you have to be extra? Me. No, no, no. So I'm just <laughs> narrating the fear. But it's yes. true because uh, I think I've written down, uh, I wrote it down somewhere that uh, that's also one of my greatest fears. Cause mm -hmm. Especially now that after now I was now married legally. Yes. And I have certificates to So prove. you need to take in care fact, of what, what, uh, Just before I forget, what made this fear worse? I had a friend back in the day who was uh, married. Mm -hmm. For church wedding, yada, yada, they had a child. Mm -hmm. Then he ran out of, he got into funk, he couldn't have money, he couldn't pay the bills, he, mm -hmm. he lost his job. Then his wife was married by someone else at the coast. What do you mean? The, they, they divorced <laughs> or the wife just left? No, the wife went for some kibarua at the coast and got married. And left this guy. So I saw city. this guy getting really crushed. Barbara, I, I had this story and I'm sure you know that story, Eric, uh, too. There's a story I heard about this guy who uh, went through some rough patch financially. Mm -hmm. But his wife was, uh, you know, this famous lady. Mm -hmm. But now these guys' friends were telling uh, this lady mm -hmm. uh, just, to, just to maybe sleep with them. Eh? Mm -hmm. And he, they'll, they'll just give, him, they'll give her some money to go and sort out the husband. Did Do you remember that story? No, I don't. You don't yeah. remember that story? Did she take mm -hmm. the money? Are you rookieing me? No, 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 I'm asking. Did she take the money? No, she didn't. She didn't. She was loyal. So even, she was loyal so even the to, friends are just nasty. She was loyal to the husband. Yeah, the friends can also be funny. Eh? Some yeah. of the friends can be funny. But one of my other ones, mm -hmm. because this one has really been pertinent to me. I mm -hmm. read, I don't know if you've read, women love reading this book. In fact, Nairobi and women are so funny. When I go to the bookshop, everybody's always <laughs> buying Achimamanda or Elizabeth Gilbert. Right book. now we're reading Obama, <laughs> Michelle so there's Obama's a, book. There's a, there's a book I read called Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. Yes, I have. And she talks elaborately about her divorce. Mm -hmm. So one of my biggest other concerns, mm -hmm. I'll call them concerns, is falling out of love. And then the woman I was once married to going away with my children. Actually, I also have the fear of falling out of love. Really, but why do also chicks take, uh, while you're answering, why do chicks take babies away? You want us to leave them for you? See, they are the ones who have given birth Excuse me, you want me to leave my child to you? I'm just asking. They're the ones who've, uh, who carried this child? Eh? Can you imagine nah, someone taking your flesh and blood yeah, away? Really cry. No. Jackie, you're going with him. <laughs> no, but you want. Okay, one of us has to make a sacrifice. Sometimes it's not a matter of being fair. And I know also men who have remained with the kids mm. and vice versa. Mm. But one person has to remain the child. And sometimes, if you're the man, and sometimes I respect men who agree. Mm -hmm. cordially to let the woman keep the child because in the early stages of life can the woman cordially agree for the man to keep the child i have not finished what i was saying darling no i was just asking no there are those who can mm -hmm. and i know there are those you can you no me i can't i mean me, let, let me not lie i can't i can't even you think can't about agree it for the guy to go to no but but he's also the father yeah yeah it's okay i've not refused i've not refused what's the problem you are going with my child <laughs> what i'm saying in the earlier stages of life some of these children need motherly they need more their mothers because they're lactating, you know, like you're lactating, you're breastfeeding, all that. So a father can't do that. Let's be serious. Can you breastfeed and then you bring her back to me? <laughs> this guy really has that fear. That is why I can't. <laughs> that is a real fear for you. <laughs> How about you? What, what, what's one of your fears? Falling out of love. Actually, my biggest fear right now is loving someone. Let me not lie. Oh, seriously? Yes. Like you feel like you'll be back in another trap. Yes. I don't know. Mm. I, know. I, I just fear. I just don't want it. I just block it. Yeah. And I am in that space where, as much as it might sound weird, yeah. I am happy at the space I am in. Yeah. I'm happy that yeah, I'm alone. People think sometimes I'm mad or I'm pretending. Yeah. And I know many people think I'm pretending or I'm forcing issues. Yeah. But I'm in a better place right now because I, have that, I still have that fear. I don't know if I've not healed yeah. or have, I am hurting whichever the balance. But I, do not, I, I don't it, want to imagine getting back there and it fails. It's funny you say that because my other concern would be not only just uh, falling in love. I don't like that stupid love. Can I call I know, it stupid? I know. You know that one for you. I'm you calling are you all an the advance. time. Uh, you've taken an advance to uh, to take know, me pay, to Lamu. No, pay for her mother who swallowed a mapera uko in the village. <laughs> Tired of living your same old life.
Yeah, in the room. My name is Emmanuel Kisiangani and you're tuned into 94.4 Spice FM in Nairobi. That is absolutely right. If you're listening from Mombasa, it's 87.9. We are live and direct in Mombasa area, just a little farther down up the road in Mombasa. Malindi, we've covered on 97.6 or 97.7. Remember, wherever you are in the country, uh, Africa-wide, be it in uh, Rand's Bag in South Africa, Bryanston near Santon, or all the way down in Camps Bay, you can stream us live on www.spicefm.co.ke. We are the adults in the room where we have no holds bad conversations about relationships and lifestyle. My name is Eric Omondi. And I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Kolumani. If you are in Nanyeri, Moranga, you can tune in at 97.9. If you are in Eldoret, Kapsabit, Nandi County, Bomet, that is 96.7. If you are in Kisumu, Kisi, Kakomega, and the Western Region, that is 102.5. And, and if you are in Nakuru or Gilgil, that is 96.0. And if you want to contribute to the conversation on our social Social media handles that is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That is Spice FM K E. Let me repeat that Spice FM K E. And if you're able, not if you're able, let me say, if you want to call in, let us know what you think about the conversation. Call us on 0719 That is 0719 yeah, man. And Eric, just before you went, uh, we went to the break, you are telling us uh, about your fears. Of, uh, yes, I don't like, I'm very cautious about that reckless, silly love. You I know like the one, love that is you, logic. You know the one for, you hung up. No, hung up. I can be, be hung babe, babe, up. Don't do this to me. I hung up the other day. <laughs> I hung up on Monday, I babe. What? I hung up on Tuesday. You hung up today. You can, no. Oh, oh, you're still on air. There was okay. that out of uh, you just just enter this mat. Then she doesn't enter that mat. <laughs> Chicky, no, just go with this one. No, don't go with this one. Go with the next one. Okay, but I've missed like four months. <laughs> I know. We'll go. We'll go. Then you start. Uh, okay, that was very silly and stupid. That is, love. That is very. I silly. prefer logic love. I don't yeah. know if it's still there. Logical, you mean? Yeah, when, yeah sorry. When I was love. getting married, guys, uh, which was uh, many years, when I decided now to get married, kabisa legally. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. One of my greatest fears was now losing, losing at eluding, mm -hmm. losing my freedom. Mm -hmm. Like I'll, I'll, I have to go home at a specific time, you know. Not mm -hmm. really specific, but, but I, I must go home. Yeah. You know, you know some, you know most of the time. There are moments you don't want to go home. Yeah, there are times I don't feel like going home. You Maybe just I'm want out to go with some you, buddies, you, and we are. You want to come out. back the next day? No, I want to come back when I'm ready. Like when I'm ready to come, I don't want to say. Like mm. if I say I'll be back home by twelve, you know, women take things literally. Mm. So I say, that's a lie. A man will come back at three. Okay, maybe my yeah yeah. When I say uh, I'll be back home by twelve, she's it means like, three. You said you'll come at twelve. It is four. Mm. Yeah. The day I went home during the day, like the sun was back up, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never forget that day. That was the last time I went home that late. She was so upset. So mm. one of my greatest fears was, and actually, okay, uh, I'd say I've lost my freedom more or less. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Like I can't, because most of my buddies are unmarried. Yes. So I can't hang out with them as long as I want to. It will reach a point when now I have to. You need to grow up. And then now go home. Which <laughs> I think one of the things I don't miss about uh, relationships is the, uh, the monotony of sameness. And then the consistency what of reporting. What do you mean the monotony? That's why it's a yeah, relationship. No, the monotony of sameness in texting me. It feels very routinely. Check your hi, morning, sunshine. Yeah. Yad, yad, and then yad. if you don't call Check, them, they get upset. I am yeah. bored. Can you give me five days to not speak? I remember I was trying to date someone and they got so upset that told me you don't know how to, you don't text me you don't tell me if you reach home i also get bored with that sometimes, i'm just tired sometimes, sometimes you just want to i'm rest. busy with life but life forgive me i'll text you in the morning sometimes i just don't want to eat supper eh? you know sometimes you just go home and uh, just say you're not eating. what is that story about women insisting that you should eat yeah, i remember my friend ogembo likes to say that <laughs> he can't eat with me like when i'm having a bite mm -hmm. Say I have, he's like, no, no, let me just have uh, coffee. Because, uh, you know, when I go home, I have to. So what is that? You, you see, can't they, go they, home they, and they say prepare, you ate. Uh, uh, Barbara, you correct me if I'm wrong. They mm -hmm. prepare the supper or dinner, whatever, with love. So they put love inside that food. Eh? Are you so when funny? you come home and now <laughs> you're not eating that love that I've prepared for you for 30 minutes, yeah. it's a problem. But uh, yeah, I Barbara, beg to differ. Barbara. Please allow me. Yes. I allow me. I do understand there are women like that, but I know women and me being one of them. Please, if you don't eat, it's okay. We will save that food for the help for lunch hour. But Let's be serious. Whether you eat or not, please just go eat with Eric at the bar. But when you come home, don't touch touch that meat and 
No, just it's okay. We will use Barbara, our you, you so that, don't, don't, no. don't, don't touch me. The don't heart. touch my meat or spoil <laughs> my food. Barbara, Barbara just so leave that food the same way it is. I know we shall is... eat it the next day. In fact, I'll make sure I recycle it for you. Uh, I know, Emmanuel, this is not, and Barbara, this is not a concern. Mm. But I remember in one of the relationships I was in, I learned very quickly that ladies don't like it when you're happy without them. There's one time, <laughs> <laughs> there's one time Eric, this lady Eric called me. No, for real. <laughs> she called me and I picked, I was very foolish. I was young and foolish. So I picked her and said, <laughs> Hello, babe, hi. <laughs> she really hung up. Yeah, why are you so happy? Like, so, no, to just go laugh with the people you're laughing with. Oh, you're supposed <laughs> to. So nowadays I know, well, I'm not dating But now, you know you're supposed but to be upset. the idea is for the gentleman listening, never ever show your girlfriend that you're happy or your never, wife. You're never. happy at yeah, a Yeah, so you, what the idea is when she calls you, like, <clears throat> But you know, I was just thinking about you. Emmanuel is a boy. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel is annoying. Barbara is annoying. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Anyway, I'll come at three, but they are boring me to death. <laughs> Your stories would have made me happier. Anyway, I'll see you later. Then now you hung up and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> but she must never hear you laughing. Yeah. Eric, you're just being too mean. <laughs> Eric is boring. Check the bottom. You see the problem with him. He wants me anyway. Let me call you back because now I'll call you back. It's quite boring. Yeah. For me, another fear I have is being cheated on. All right. Yes, I think many of us have that fear is All being right. cheated, and uh, we take it differently. There are people who do not know how to handle it. Mm. Others retaliate back by cheating. Yes. Yeah, how do you handle it, by the way, Barbara? Right now, it's right. <laughs> if I, if someone cheated, <laughs> I think okay. I think they many... say something to do with headlights. <laughs> Many moons ago, yes. when I was young and silly, yes. and this is why this gentleman in this studio are always making fun yes. about me <laughs> scratching someone's car. Yes. Someone cheated on me, and I messed up with their headlights and scratched their car. And I say, please do not do that. So what would you do now? Right now, I'll just leave you. There's but a you time... can't forgive. Where is no, forgiveness in cheating? No, it depends with which relationship we are. Mm. I've come to a place in my life, for example, I always tell married people, and I know maybe of them, many will not agree. Mm -hmm. Money today, if you were caught cheating or your wife cheated, mm. I'll tell you for a fact, don't leave her. Uh. Yes, don't leave her. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. I have changed my... No, I used to be those kind of women. Talker! Talker! Somebody having sexual, but deep I, sexual yes, intercourse with someone's wife. I am not in that wife. space but anymore, and I'll let you know why. Yeah. I'll say why. Because one, sometimes you can sit down with this man and talk to him and reconcile. <laughs> there are far, no, you don't talk laugh. To him, why no, also, even if you get upset, it, Barbara, get, get upset Barbara, in that relationship. What sort of cheating? Did somebody kiss someone's wife's neck or had sex? Like across deep sex? the board. Let me ask you. Uh, uh, for me, I'm like, <laughs> if you get out of a marriage or you get out of a relationship, trust me, there's nothing better outside here. Uh, so someone has slept with so my wife and had sex. Saying, Forget. Do you saying, know how many women Barbara, forgive men out here? But Barbara, men can forgive women. Barbara, they pretend it's like you've killed their mother. So Are saying, you people for real? So you're saying that he better the devil you know? Yes, all I'm saying, of course it's bad. After I'm not, that no, devil listen, has slept with I am not, <laughs> After that devil, after that I devil has had sex. I am not advocating for it. Personally, it breaks my heart. However, I'm saying, if you're able to... Coitus. Yes, coitus. <laughs> Name Someone has coitus with my devil, and then yes. no. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you something. Uh, my my. Aunt, if you can sit and talk about it and resolve it, well and good. My, if you can't, then you can take the next move. Uh, Sometimes it's not. Don't be quick to be dissolving relationships and marriages. My aunt, That's what I'm saying. My aunt is my mother's sister. Yes. Uh, met my wife for the first time. And, yes. Uh, my wife is the one who was telling me this story, mm -hmm. and she said to my wife, uh, "Wanaume, unawavumilia tu." As in just uh, hold on. Which uh, is a very wrong guys. thing because, our parents tell us. Because all of them, no, but that's opposite. What do you think? No, so you're saying yes, yes, I so know. So she's saying that mm. they're, even if they go, at a, uh, to quarter, she said, at a, at a, at a, at a, at a, mm. as in you just stick there no matter what he does. Hey, that's funny. Okay, but I, that's my, harsh. I, my, but if your relationship is toxic, please leave. In my last relationship, before I stopped dating, uh, not stopped dating. That sounds off. Before, like the when one of right now when my, you just when took I, a break. When I not a break. Barbara, You're on break. Off. Anyway, so the the lady I was once <laughs> <laughs> the lady I was once dating told me she was celebrating uh, the dad and the mom having been together for thirty nine years. Mm -hmm. So she pulled the mom aside and said, "Mom, what did you say was a secret or has been the secret for your longevity?" Mm -hmm. And the mom said that it's uh, forgetting. Uh, bad things that he's done mm -hmm. and being very forgiving. He says when you combine those two, forgetting and his ills and forgiving him, mm -hmm. then you can stay much longer. Uh, Eric, yes. you're right. Samuel L. Jackson said the same thing in an yes. interview I watched. He said one of I the secrets, he's been married for many, many years, mm -hmm. and he says one of the secrets is amnesia. 
Yeah. Which is exactly <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah. So you just become an amnesiac. Like yeah. you, you should selective like amnesia. Uh, selective. I'd, I'd go home and I really, we really have a nasty fight yes. uh, at home with my wife. Yes. And the next uh, day we are in church together, lifting up hands. Check it. Thank <laughs> you. So I'm looking at her like, why are you lifting your hands? Do you know what you did to me? I said. <laughs> yeah, so I think yeah. that amnesia thing is for real. It works. Yeah. Yes, uh, so but if your relationship is toxic, mm. abusive, violent, and you, if you're able, just step out. Don't go back. In, in a <coughs> let me, let me tell you a fear that I'd have is uh, marrying, uh, getting married to someone mm -hmm. or getting a relationship with someone, deep relationship, and uh, I, I don't really get to know who that person truly is. You know, right. what maybe you maybe that person out of fear or um, out of uh, just some stupid reason they sent they their representative yeah they don't they they <laughs> never become truly who you who they are yeah you know just because of them being your wife you you're see? right like yeah. maybe they love uh twerking heavily you know to music but because you you're a guy who's goes you know, to all church. Set, yeah goes to church you're mm -hmm. all set together mm -hmm. you never ever see that side of that person. Yeah, yeah, that would be frightening to me. I as think well. on the same, like I would say, yeah. just on the same, uh -huh. um, getting involved or married or in a relationship with someone, you have very different values. Mm. Yes, because for the me, value that, systems. Yeah, right? value system. I, I'll give an example of myself. Like on Sunday, I love going to church, spending time. And then church. you drink on Monday. Yeah, you told <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't do that. <laughs> don't lie. Yeah. Don't lie on, on radio. <laughs> My pastor is listening. <laughs> yeah, don't judge people. <laughs> but anyway, mm. and, th and there you find maybe I am going out with Eric, for example. Mm. And Eric on Sunday does not believe in doing that. He believes in us going for brunch, sitting out and uh, in the sun. You see, that's uh -huh. different for me. We can do that after I do church. I realize there are people who. And it's okay not to go to church. Mm. But I just always have this thing of like, I need to give thanks. Mm. I need to do certain things. Like f to feel, feel and just to give thanks for my whole week and all. Mm. So you find, I, for me, I would rather go out with someone or be with someone who can at least adhere to or we are in line in some of the values that I believe but in now, or my faith. So my, my point is now there's someone who's aligning just because he, he likes you, Barbara. Yes. But that's not his true representation. Like that's not what He's he sending his representation yeah, as a, a junior. What, yeah, he didn't like doing those things. Have you ever heard those stories of, of guys who, of men who've been married for like 30 years and then mm -hmm. they die? And then you discover he had a, a fully functional family yes. in another mm. location. Yes, there's one of our, I think two years ago, one of our politicians passed away. And when he passed away, uh, during the, the funeral service. I don't like the way you say our. One of the politicians. One Me, he's sorry. not my politician. <laughs> <laughs> I correct my English, darling. No, 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 it's yes, fine but English, yes, uh, but yes. I'm just like. One of the politicians passed away, and I knew him as a person because he was also a client. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, he was your politician. Ah, ah yes. <laughs> go away <laughs> so when i went to this funeral i was very shocked when they said can his children stand up so for me i knew for example agnes was the wife and yeah. the children and had three children do you know a battalion of seven kids showed up and they all looked like him yeah. copy paste yeah. with the women and i think my friend had found out like the day before so yeah. when they asked the wives and she didn't stand up so yeah the question is how and i was like how did she guy? and she, after that she was like mm. but you know she didn't go and marry bury this guy I remember she remained in Nairobi after every, she remained. She was like, enough. She's like, Barbara, it was such a shock for her. Mm. But I asked myself, how didn't you know that he has family X, Y, Z? I do not know how you guys juggle it or how us women decide to get into this arrangement. But, the, but can you imagine like you've been with this person all these years and you, you, you I'm discover telling you, you didn't I will know kill guy. you again. <laughs> that is, uh, that is quite for me, sad. I'll kill you again in that casket. Yeah, Another family like that, I'll kill you again. Mm, Barbara <laughs> wants to kill people. <laughs> What are we having? Are we going to go on a break? Or no, 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 why do you want to go on a break? Oh, and no, I have no, not said no, what's no, wrong with me. Okay, let me tell you. I thought, I thought we were going on an, uh, a thingy. Anyway, one of the things that bothers me, and I'm completely concerned about Barbara, mm -hmm. uh, not so much uh, someone dying and 59 children rising up. Uh, <laughs> there's a book I read uh, by a, a doctor. He, was, he had lung cancer, but he passed on. It's called When Breath Becomes Hair. I forget his name, some Indian-American guy. And uh, my concern is mm -hmm. having a partner die before me or having a partner with a terminal illness, uh -huh. oh. you know, so that you have to watch over them for a long time. Do you think period. you can manage? I'm just asking. No, I pray every day. Those are some of the, my prayer items. I know you even, you can't date someone with a fam uh, who has a family history of illness. Yeah, not knowingly, no, I wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just tell you that's very unfair. I hope it's you know It's not that. unfair. It's very unfair, Eric. But you, you can date someone who's sick. That's You're fine. judging that person based on their family history. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, my dear? No, it's <laughs> right. The best exclusive radio station giving you authentic, fun, 
real conversation all the way till 10 p.m. All right, that's absolutely right. If you are looking for a station where you can listen to all of your absolute favorite 80s ballads and spicy soul music, I'm speaking about your Michael Bolton, Whitney Houston, uh, you know, Kenny Latimore, whatever else you would have in there. Tune in to 94.4, Sugar and Spice and, and everything, everything nice. nice. Look, my name is Eric Komondi. If you're in Mombasa area, we are live on 87.9. If you're in Akuru, we are on 96.0. And in Malindi, we are on 97.6 or 97.7. Remember, you can also stream us live and direct. <coughs> Spice FM is the first radio coming alive in visual format, countrywide and Africa-wide on www.spicefm.co. Ke. I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Ecolo Money. If you'd like to contribute to the conversation, whether online or on our social media handles, you can do that on Spice FM KE on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll be happy to read some of your comments. And if you're able to call in live in the next 15 minutes, we shall be taking calls. That is 0719-012600. Let me repeat that. 0719 Zero one two six hundred and our SMS number or our SMS code is four zero one two seven. And then when we went to the break, Barbara was very angry with Eric. But no, not angry, but uh, <laughs> he was concerned about a few things Eric was saying. But Eric, I, I need you to break it down. Yes. So I was saying. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, we are speaking about some of the fears uh, you have about yes. relationships. Yes. And I'm sharing mine candidly, even though uh, Barbara doesn't like me saying this very. Well. <laughs> One of my fears is uh, terminal disease taking. Uh, one of the spouses. Oh, you're like yeah, your wife. Like my wife. Yes. Mm. And um, I read a very sad book I was sharing. Eat, uh, sorry, not eat. Uh, when Breath Becomes Air. And this gentleman had lung cancer. And uh, in fact, while he was, he was giving accounts of his uh, prognosis, how disease progressed, how the cancer progressed, mm -hmm. the cancer metastasized so much that he died from it and the wife had to finish the book. Wow. And uh, wow. the, the wife left, he left the wife with a child. I don't think he saw the child, so he left before the child was, was born. born. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking to myself, that would really be devastating for me. And, uh, yeah, so losing a loved one yeah, but, uh, uh, to either, uh, you know, death mm -hmm. or even having a loved one or my spouse with a terminal illness. Mm -hmm. I think that's really a great challenge and a concern. But I guess I that's just uh, that's an the wheel of, of life, you yeah. know. Like, uh, it is, of course. When you get in, yeah, I yeah. think it's just... It's not, no, no, it's not something you can avoid. And yeah. I, my heart actually really does that's go That's what we say, for better, for worse, for yes, richer, for poor, my, in my, sickness and My heart, uh, Barbara, you're no longer married. My heart <laughs> goes out... <laughs> 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 my heart goes out to everybody in that situation because I, and I read every day on the standard you see this story and that story about it, especially now with the case of mm -hmm. cancer having become, become such a scourge mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah so it's, uh, it's one of my concerns for me I think another fear I have is being rejected Reject. Most ladies don't can't, don't take rejection very no, well. No, we don't. Yeah, that's, I that's why like, they say uh, when you say I don't, it's, it I don't is want you, to imagine. It is, not, it is me. It yes, is not you. Yeah, they why are you telling me all that? <laughs> <laughs> we have don't take rejection. No, very I personally well. don't take rejection. No, very well. a lot of women yeah, don't. So I don't take that. You so know, sometimes people, that's, it's a fear. I wouldn't want to get into something. Then along the way, I'm thinking we are going to this path. Then you get bored with me. So. I'd rather just. I'm actually one of the king of getting bored. I get bored really quickly. Please just stay alone. Don't hurt someone's child. No, no, not even that. But, but you see, also, uh, the life is life is not in a straight line. I don't I know agree. why, especially women, can't understand that. So it's possible that I can come on board feeling all fuzzy and nice about you, and mm -hmm. then along the way, I I feel differently, and that's okay. Actually, you've wasted my time. What is this wasting your time? Don't Were you not there when I was? Uh, I wasn't <laughs> I there when you was wasting your time. I know. You know this thing you say, you wasted my you time. Wasted my but time. I was also there. So our times so, were wasted. Yes. I, but tell I, you, I, I tell you another fear, Barbara, yes. which I think relates to yours, is uh, fear of commitment. Yes. That like uh, most, uh, m m most people, especially the ones called Eric, mm -hmm. uh, they fear. <laughs> I totally <laughs> agree. I don't even fear, know what I'm agreeing to. They fear commitment. <laughs> I'm agreeing. So I tell you what, a relationship is going really well. 
mm -hmm. and they know it might lead to marriage. Yeah? They run. So they just self they just self sabotage <laughs> their relationship. I think men do that. <laughs> Majority. I know women also do that, but I think it's very common with men. Listen, Barbara. And the type done, like you've, Eric. You've done everything. Eh? You're well spoken. All right, <laughs> you 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 love God. You go to church. Yes. You know, you've, you've even changed some of Preach, your brother. bad habits. Eh? Yes. And then now you this guy just comes with a flimsy reason. <laughs> like, I have decided you know, to become celibate. Yeah, like 2020 <laughs> was the year I wanted to be single. Some very weird. Yeah, but anyway, I've heard of that. At 20, 2019 was my year to be single. Yeah. I searched God and yes. He told me. Yeah, in fact, that is the one of the greatest ones. Yes. Okay, uh, listen, huh? <laughs> God told me not to be with you. Yeah. God. God. You how do you? Do why you, why you devastate you guys women in this you. town? That is very bad. You cannot be using me as an example. <laughs> I How will, about it is true? I will uh, move very fast and say <laughs> that one of my other fears is a rude partner. Yes. I can't, I can't stand rude women. And I've, I've had the great misfortune of having dated a rude woman. <laughs> How I rude was she? Not, she was very, uh -huh. extremely rude. Uh -huh. She was not only rude. But you know also, sometimes women are divas and petty. What do you mean divas and petty? I don't like rude people. Uh -huh. You know the people who are super... <laughs> I that chick was rude. What she was spectacularly she... rude, you know. Like she'd... Uh, hey, I'll start crying when I think about her rudeness. <laughs> She's the one of the chicks who used to text in grand. You know, in the uh, bold... Uh, yeah. Check it. Go away in topics. In, uh, rather, in cups. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't fancy rude. But one. you know women are not mad. Sometimes we react to what you've done. Hey, no, 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 no. No, women are not mad. I always say that. <laughs> they, <laughs> every reaction... Daily. Barbara, you're justifying rudeness. No, yeah. I'm not justifying rudeness. You know, sometimes we, you send us to that zone. No, no, no. That you send women to this rude. zone and you don't want to accept that. Uh, uh, no, uh, I, was, I was sharing this. Uh, uh, I, was share, I was talking to my wife and she was telling me one of her uh, fears, especially when she was about to get married, was that uh. now she won't be able to go and hang out with her girls. That is now she'll just have to stay in the house and cook and uh, make for you. I think that's you know, a fear that women need to remove out of their heads. You yeah, can still so spend men, time. Uh, men want to marry you so that they can finish you and uh, leave you in the house. Like you become like part of the furniture. As you for some enjoying men. life. For no. some men. I think when you get married, just make discuss with your partner. You shouldn't feel like marriage is uh, a lockdown or a prison. Also, mm. men should let their chicks... Uh, yeah, you, know, you guys behave badly sometimes. They should let them uh, go home. You want to be dictators. Pulse. You want to micromanage them. You want to become put gates. You want to track their phones, their cars. But there what some, is, you're, you're so insecure well, and Let me petty. tell you, Barbara, from experience, there are some specific friends that your wife or girlfriend has who make... Who, who then tell them her. Just tell bad her. Company. Because you don't have bad company. Oh, that okay. sends you, uh, that, that you come home the next day. No. Or me, you tell me you'll come at 12, you come at 4. Let, let I remember <laughs> once, and I'll never forget this. Allow me, sorry for that. I remember once my ex told me, Babe, I'm, ca I'm coming late. Do you know what time that was? Hmm. At 2 a.m. he's texting me, I'm coming, I, I'll be, I'm running late. Excuse me, it's 2 a.m. Where are you running late? Tomorrow but guys, morning? But you guys are never... What is sleeping. wrong with... You know, I've never... 2 a.m. is when it starts shikai. But 2 a.m. you're writing a message. Barbara. Babe, I'm running late. Barbara. Surely. You guys are never sleepy. So you just sleep. <laughs> It's because we love you uh, as much yeah. as we want to. Yes. So I as much I as we want to pretend we're not, we want to be sure you're home. You guys, you can be you're secure. Status. Even when you come in at 4 a.m., trust me, we have not slept. Eric. We have been peeping at the window to find out if you have yeah, come. Yeah. But when you come, we pretend we're asleep. <laughs> My wife opens the door, then she runs to the bed. Yes. So she pretends she's sleeping. She's talking and she's not replying. Check, hey, babe, babe. And <laughs> yes, you open the door, you're awake. <laughs> Talk. No, in fact, you Eric, may have this silly habit. Let me tell you, you can be inside state house, eh? inside mm -hmm. state house, and inside those uh, secret rooms. Yes. And then when you get home, she tells you, I was worried. That I was worried <laughs> about you. Like, why but you we worried get worried. It is genuine. If I call you at 7 p.m., Barbara, and I say, Hi, Barbara, I'm running late. I'm that hanging is out okay. with Manu. That is okay. No, no, no. Chicks don't do that. That you is know, 7 p.m. You know what? No. 2 a.m. you're running you, late. What, yeah, you, you want no, to come the next let me finish, morning? Let me finish. At 7 o'clock, I've told you I'm running late. Do you know most women who start calling you at midnight to ask how late you are talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah so I know you'd call, but uh, how late are we talking? <laughs> sleep! Sleep! <laughs> Just sleep and leave me alone. Check it, I'm you... enjoying. <laughs> I am enjoying. Check it, 10 over 10. 10 over 10. Check it. Yes, sleep. It's Kishika in Vimeja. Just sleep. See, I told you I'm running late. Whenever I come, what I What if come. I tell you I'm running late? You'll not accept it. 
No, I can accept depending on uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yourself. <laughs> no, yeah, I yourself. can I can accept. But now you you want to dance kabisa mpaka what time? Oh, no you so you, you can do <laughs> no, ten over. No, no, I'm, I'm asking. No, no, but you see you're my wife and I have once to in a while. You. No, once in a while. Until allow what time? Me. You you no, finish. once in a while ask, allow your wife. Yeah, I know I would, you but no, but now until 11, what time? 11:30, 12. This guy. Oh, no, Look at your face you're like. No, no, that's fine. The thing I don't Can I push it to one? Let me tell you something which ties to my next point of things I more concerned about or fear mm. uh, I cannot stand for the life of me a very dishonest uh, person yes. be they male or female mm -hmm. uh, there's once this lady lied that she's going to a charmer mm -hmm. you know these charmer things you guys do yes. at the other getaway in some hotel in Thika mm -hmm. they would have charmer eat mm -hmm. then come back only for her husband to be called that she had gotten an accident in Malindi oh my god you know yeah, nothing happened to her serious thank yes. god but I can't, you know, also just people who are, there are chicks who lie so easily. Chicky, hi, babe, how are you? I'm fine. How is it going? Good. Where are you? In Tao. I, I, I would swear I've seen you in Harlingham. Oh, oh, you know, no. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm in Harlingham, but I'm going to Tao. You know, we are people like that. Yeah, those lies are terrible. Uh, Barbara, do, do you think most of your fears are, are based on your divorce, like, I think most of my fears are based on my past relationship. Not only that, uh, not only my past marriage, but most of, as in, I, I can even count down. Like, like when I told you, I fear rejection. Uh, yeah. When someone ghosted me. Yeah. Yes, I've gone through rejection. I've been ghosted. You know, like, I don't know. Why have you left me? You know, I, I, I have mixed emotions about things. Uh, Another fear I have is, uh, I don't know if this makes sense. And I, not, uh, not being in the same denomination or beliefs when I talked about All faith. Right. And the reason I did this, there's a time I tried uh, dating someone who was not of my faith <laughs> and uh, they were fasting. <laughs> so I promised the person I'll fast, but honestly, I reached somewhere. Well, that's not dictatorship. No. They wanted you to fast with yes, them. Yes, yes, fast with them within that whole period. Mm. So I tried. Yes, not that I don't fast for my own faith, but mm. theirs was different. So I think along the way, I forgot I was fasting. Mm. And, we, and, you know, we fast and they... And then this guy caught me with my friends having burgers. And he was upset. Hey, my God, he got upset like I'd I killed I, I, I don't think that would be negotiable for yeah. me. There was one side. Yes, I, so I, really I, I understood him later and I was just honest with him. Like, you know what? I, and I realized that sometimes I can't compromise what I believe in. That's true. Yeah, let me just stick to what there, I know a, and what I've been brought up. There's a to. lady I met who we hit it off really well. She was a nice, you know, mm. a, a seeming lady. Very nice, very mm. kind. And then uh, one time she came over to visit me at my house. Mm -hmm. And then when we were hanging out, she jumped off to the couch and said, hey, I have to pray. Then she removed something and she was locating Mecca. Mm -hmm. So she erected that thing there and then started praying in the living room. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, and then I discussed. I didn't know until that point that she was practicing Islam. Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with Islam. Mm -hmm. But being a devout Christian, I also thought that we would have loggerheads. Because oh, yeah. I wouldn't want... Uh, that loggerheadness of somebody yeah, going, uh, to going to madrasa uh, and then me on Sunday school. school yes, yeah, yeah, actually, so I yeah. called off the relationship. Oh, okay. But losing respect is one of my other ones. Losing yeah. respect. Who loses respect? The man me. or the woman? Me. Like when I lose respect uh, or maybe my woman or my spouse mm -hmm. starts treating me any less. Yeah. I think uh, respect is very key to me. Or yes. talking to me anyhow. You know, forgo that. Yes. Like, <laughs> you know, things like that. That would really hurt me. Yeah, no, so I think it's a big concern of mine. No, like you look like you can talk to some, okay, you can talk some, down to someone. No, some, I used to do that quite In a fact, lot. I would not even refuse. I was that kind of person. One of my first concerns was uh, get the first argument. You know, it really opens uh, up. Yes. yes. It, it like a chick can show you her true colors when yeah. that first argument. Jackie, go away! Mm. <laughs> Check it, let me stab you as I live. Who is it? And why would someone want to what stab you? What do you think you have? No, what? Do you think you have? What? It's on 94.4 Spice FM. You're hanging out with the adults in the room. My name is Emmanuel Kisiengani. If you're on the environments of uh, the environs of uh, Nairobi, if you're in Kitengela, if you're in places like Rongai, the signal is still the same right there on 94.4 Spice FM. That is absolutely right. Wherever you are, we welcome you to the adults in the room. This is where we have no holds bad <coughs> conversation about relationship and lifestyle, women and the men who love them. Spice 
sugar and spice and everything nice. Oh, my word. Anyway, we're having a heated conversation here in the studio. And if you're listening from Nakuru, we are on 96.0. If you're in Mombasa, we are in 87.9. If you're in Kisumu, Kibos, Nyalenda, Migosi, we are on 102.5. Remember, at the top of the hour on 0719012600, we're going to receive some of your feedback about the these and that of the stories you might have relating to the conversation we are having. My name is Eric Omondi. And I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Ekolomani. If you're able to contribute to the conversation on our, on our social media handles, that is SpiceFMKE on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Let me repeat that. If you're able to contribute to the conversation or if you want to, please do so on SpiceFMKE. Let me read some of the comments. That is from Rashid Hamisi and Kale Kaze Mze Manu. They say their fear is heartbreak. Both of them share the same fear. I fear being heartbroken. All right. They don't want their hearts. They don't want to risk. They don't want to risk. But you guys who are single, <clears throat> I think you should, uh, uh, even as you're fearing, you should be able to take risks, especially you, Barbara. Eh? Why should you I should take, take that fear of uh, rejection and then you chop it a serious uh, boot and then you take the risk. Plunge in. Yeah, but mm. when the time is right, oh, I'm okay. I'm right. happy the way well, I am. But one of the things uh, that uh, uh, really uh, frightens me, Barbara, is mm -hmm. divorce. I hate divorce. Mm -hmm. I think it's ugly because the thing about divorce that I've learned, again, mm -hmm. from my reading, mm -hmm. is that uh, you are seeing a dead person alive because they are dead to you. Why you do know? you have to be so dramatic? No, let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> no, no. Really? You are seeing a, a dead, dead person. Yeah, you are seeing really? because they are dead in your life. This is what I mean. Yes, um, but when, I understand where when you're you begin from. to quote, people are really nice. It's very jolly and mellow. Mm -hmm. You are chatting. You know, mm -hmm. I remember uh, you can if you can even go all the way up to the first text you sent each other. I'm on, telling you, you know, you. like oh, you know, this is what you told me the first time, and it's really nice. So the idea is you're creating a very nicely tight bond. Mm -hmm. So divorce for me is like someone coming with a very sharp sword it's and very yes. cross cutting. Yes. It's, yes. it's like a broken, shattered glass. Yes. Eh? Yeah, and it so you can't put yeah. it back together. It's very and it cuts across. Especially now you now uh, start seeing someone you really loved with someone else. You know? Yes, yes. Like, you have to actually what's the word? Grow or grow out of it and build yourself. Like, and it's true what you're saying. It cuts across, and not only for women, mm. but for men. For it men as well. Yes, yeah. it breaks you apart. Yeah, it breaks you apart. It kills you, and not and. In uh, fact, cutting across may not even be the word. For me, it's like taking a glass of water. No, when I say and it, smashing it no, against the wall. No, when I say it cuts across, not your body, uh. but it cuts across from the mill, the mill. Oh, oh right. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, both, both men and women suffer this. I think most people always forget that our feel one gender suffers more. More. Oh, but mm. to be very honest, both of you suffer. Both of you can end up losing weight. Yeah. Both of you feel rejected. You know, you all go. And it's even worse when you're saying, when you see your partner with someone else. So you need to first work on yourself. Mm. And I have learned that it is not wrong to be alone. And for me, and I'll repeat this, for me, divorce is okay right now. Because sometimes you're in a very toxic relationship. Yeah. Both of you. And I will not say that I was the better person or the other person was wrong. It takes two to tango. Yeah, it takes two to tango. I know you love talking about this story, but uh, I will not talk yeah, there. So, but I'll just say it is you, okay I'll to be alone. Don't, don't cry. It's okay to be alone. <laughs> yeah, for you. And sometimes it's a, it's inevitable. Don't plan for it, but just plan for the good times. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah There's so something that I have fear, and Amanio talked about it. Barbara, oh. before you uh, share your fear, I think we can take one phone call. Please do. See, uh, what people out there are thinking. Hi, this is uh, Spice FM. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Hey, hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Ah, uh, I'm Binasek from Mombasa. Ah, Sam Binasek. Ah, I'm Binasek, not Binasek. Be? Be nice. Be nice, how are you? Be nice. Okay. Yeah, tell us your name. Thank you, I'm Chai. 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 Okay. Na la pili? Alafu na yengine niyo, yengine nese kakwa, yengine nese kakwa machi uye lakini baby cry kwa sikambuto wa kilio. Haa. Ah. Upendi watoto? Ya. 
Sasa sipendi watoto lakini kusikia mtoto wa huyo mama mwenye amekukasirisha, si ndio? Hajasema hivyo Eric. Na naulizwa. Ah, yani mtoto. Achana na mwanzangu Eric. Mtoto mgani? Mtoto tu yote ile ambaye mdogo ambaye hajafikisha taka hajafikisha. Oh, you have a fear when you hear babies cry. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting one. I'm so, oh. All right. Uh, thank, you. thank you so much for calling and tuning in to Spice. I'm FM. trying to Remember figure the out. number is 0719012600. The number is 0719012600. Barbara interrupted you when you were telling us. No problem. Uh, Before you interrupt, there's someone called John Jera who says on Facebook, "Of course, my my fear is death. Let me worry a lot of whom to choose for sure." For I think if he has, mm, right. he's uh, oh, just the same yeah, way you oh, say, yeah, okay. from a tragic accident or a oh, terminal shame. disease, yeah. yeah. I'll, share, I think, I'll share with you guys a fear that I have. I fear that uh, when I'm in a relationship, mm -hmm. the person I'm relating with uh, becomes too familiar with me, mm. you know. Like what do you they're, mean? They're, but they're supposed to be familiar with you. No, as in, they, no, they uh, shouldn't. Nakuzoea. Yeah, nakuzoea. So even if you, let's say you're a businessman, you've started like, uh, 10 businesses and they've all failed mm. so now they get so familiar with Paka they start saying things like uh, that's how you are your business is all failed yeah. you're a failure you know like they even stop seeing uh, the potential all in you right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a fear yeah, that I, yeah, but I don't know if it's so much about them being uh, Zoya in you or just being rude which ties to because that particular situation <laughs> was in that person used to talk like that. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's useless, it's, useless. Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. That I think it's, I think it's familiarity because when you stay with someone yes. for long, yes. you think you know them, and, and it, it goes causes both ways. contempt. Yes, yes. It, it goes both ways. You think you know your wife. You think she's a, you know, a man. And then, re and, yes. and, and then respect goes and out just, of it. Yeah, yeah, I was at a meeting with some men, and some man started talking about his wife and uh, calling her a cow. Checking what? Out. I just woke up and the cow was just. Oh my head. god! Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that I think. Okay, that's a very and, disrespectful. Yes, yes. So respect goes out of the door, yeah. and then now you just start maligning each other. The one that um, when this gentleman has called from Mombasa, mm -hmm. that uh, has uh, sort of triggered me. I think uh, I, this is not mine, but I feel like a lady who has a child. One of the hopes they would have is finding somebody who would love not only them but their child also. No. Mm -hmm. And I know you fear children. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about <laughs> me. I said, Barbara, this is not for me. But I would imagine mm -hmm. for a lady who has a child, maybe... Yeah, uh, or like that would be a fear, Yes, right? that would be a fear like, of hers uh, that mm -hmm. she meets somebody who will not accept her child or only yeah. love her, not love the child. Yeah, in fact... <laughs> so it's a question I'm asking you. Would that be a fear for a lady with a child? Yes, that would be a fear. Yeah, so it it's not fear. me. Me, I don't have a child. No, you, you don't like children. <laughs> other people's children. children i don't have the grace yes, for them i like I them from a and, distance and i respect but that. you know that is not typically something you would want to no bear. but you see what i respect the fact that you're honest about it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, 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 can't, I might I make fun have... about it and i oppose it but I respect what do you the mean fact. you oppose but it? I, tell you, I, I find like, it's weird. But, Excuse uh, me. But Barbara, he can uh, he can grow into. And I've told you. I don't think he can before. grow. There are things that people can you grow. Can't grow. That. You can't but grow. But why do you want to? Put what, you want to person, what do you want to? Put? This maybe, guy is too militant. You know, he can't me, grow into that. Let me tell you, Eric. Maybe this person you're saying is destined to be your have a, have a child. Do you know that? No, he's been praying uh, for so, not. Yeah. And I've been praying to God to. But then he actually has been praying. I'm serious. I actually asked him. He told me he's been praying to God. I think God has His own mind also. No, no, no. But why you? Why you? Why you? Why you condemn? me to something I don't want. I would not prefer to have no, a child. I a don't woman. want you to lose out on a good thing. Nay. <laughs> there are no women. There are no women on planet Earth who Woo! are single without children who are good. No, they are. But they then are. I want that one. And there's also it's a buffet. Many, it's, it's a saying. buffet. God uh, answers uh, the uh, prayer. Uh, 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 are we are not a buffet. No, no, no. I'm saying <laughs> the choice amazing, is a buffet. There are many amazing I don't refuse that. <laughs> but it's just children. not my cross to bear. Why are guys so uncomfortable? And you say, I told Barbara the other day that I would look at somebody's medical history so that I'm not perpetually uh, tied with... Oh, okay. And I got That's upset. <laughs> yeah, so the thing I'm saying is this. Preferentially, you see the way it's you... It's not for him. Preferentially, the way you you went to Meru and looked for a lovely wife who has features you like. Yes. Maybe you went and looked for somebody who is light-skinned. Mm. I can't start condemning you for your light-skinned For a yellow-yellow? Yellow? Mm. Yeah, that's Understand your Understand him, that is his yeah, preference. So me, preferentially, no. preferentially, I would prefer that we... You know, when my wife-to-be is having labor, I don't want a woman who is experienced. Uh. I just eh. want us to panic together. <laughs> Chicky, babe. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is happening? Then we rush out. Then I drive. Uh, uh, want to go to like I want to experience. He wants to experience. I don't want it. someone who has experienced it. I don't want someone who's beat me to the experience. My brother married a lady who had uh, a son, mm -hmm. and uh, they're they're a very awesome couple. Yes. And in fact, she met the lady, and she's an excellent lady. Do you do you vouch for that lady? In fact, she's very. <laughs> she's she's an lady. I, I I love the lady, and I've even told her that you know a part of my prayer is to so get. So my and I'm telling you, the reason I'm passionate about telling you this story <laughs> is, is I am trying to to open your eyes. No, we don't know where God will send you. I, no. I want you to leave your op, have an open mind mm -hmm. that maybe mm -hmm. this uh, this perfect person that you want I don't, is I'm hidden. Not, no. He's just hidden behind. You a see, very Emmanuel has added child. something. Yes. Uh, Emmanuel, let me tell you. Uh -huh. Please hear me very well. I am not looking for a perfect perfect human being because yes. seldom. I'm not perfect. Yes. I'm not perfect. I understand. In in a matter of it's a matter of preference. And I agree it's okay. And we have non-negotiables. So whether you are my non-negotiable sits well with you or not, my non-negotiable would be that I find somebody by the grace of God mm -hmm. who we can be uh, set a family together and have our babies together. And I agree. Now let me tell you my non-negotiable. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't like lazy or an non-ambitious men. I want to see a man with potential. Yes. Mm. And I know someone might look at it and like, why? Why is this woman saying this? I don't want a lazy man. So because I work hard. Mm. So if my fear is, I would like to get a man, if if God. Can you work is. hard for your man. <laughs> what is wrong with this man? <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, can we go on a break? <laughs> Can you work hard for the both of you? You know. I can work hard for the both of us. I have done that before. Mm. I can do that. However, I'll put a clause. What are you doing? You see, the other are you fear. incapacitated? It, it, Barbara, 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 are you my husband? Barbara, let me just tell you something. If you're sick, yes. Let if me, something went wrong, but I, I Barbara, want to have a man with ambition. Let me tell you one of my other fears mm -hmm. is meeting somebody so bruised as to come to the relationship with so many rules like you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fear I've developed in the studio. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't no, want a lazy true. man. I'm it's very hardworking. Because every, no, every, you know I'm very every, hard every caveat you have is based on a past relationship. And that's frightening. No, 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 no. Like, okay, no, the past I don't like the way you are standing. Do I don't men. like the way you are standing because that person was standing like this. No, that no, no. Bad. It's just me. For, I just like, I like, I am ambitious. Mm. I am hardworking. I am requesting if the man can also be not match up. Mm. Because you never know, he might be better than me mm. or close. But you would prefer that he's better. Yes, than I you. don't. I don't want. A, what did you call them? A, a, a house bay. potato. Yes, not a couch. A house bay. The a house husband. I don't want those. A man who likes oh, to rest. Want. Yes, yeah. A man who is but work shy. Is yes, is work. Yes, actually, that's a word. Barbara. There are a lot of men who are work shy right yeah, now. There they sometimes is resting between jobs. <laughs> Between deals. I wish you could see you my You know how long it takes to get a tender? I know. Yeah? I know. So when you're in between the So tender. if you're, you're working out to get a tender and I know what how long it takes, please look for something else Women to do Women really also. get upset with that tender Even thing. I met a girlfriend What is of mine. wrong? Even me, I work with tenders. I met a girlfriend of mine who was telling me that uh, her husband called her that the DSTV had... Yikes. Some uh, station had been disconnected. And she, he wanted money from her to pay for that. Uh, there are moments you lose money, and, and, uh, I, she, I, and I get that. She was that. very upset. And I get that. However, I will also want the man to make an effort. Yeah. Is it so wrong to ask for that? Anyway, yeah, it, is, uh, uh, it, it is something we can talk about. Welcome to Spice FM, the best exclusive. Spice, Spice up your life. the next nine months uh, we're gonna be enjoying the product of this uh, playlist that we have tonight man this is Emmanuel Kisingani I'm on 94.4 Spice FM you're hanging out with the adults in the room sugar and spice and, and everything, everything nice. nice my name is Eric Komondi listen wherever you are in the great republic of the 254 that is Kenya be you in Nairobi we are on 94.4 if you're in Mombasa we are on 87.9 if you're in Kisumu you're on 1 or 2.5. Remember, Spice FM is the first radio coming alive in visual format. What that means is that wherever you are in uh, the entire Africa, in South Africa, uh, Limpopo, if you're all the way down in Durban, or if you're in uh, uh, which other African country? Do you know Kampala, Uganda? Uh, in Tanzania, Kampala is not da a country. Uganda. Kampala, Uganda. Mm -hmm. Or Dar es Salaam and all the way down wherever else you may be. Just simply go to www.spicefm.co.ke and you'll get to watch 
and hear us. My name is Eric Komondi. And I am Barbara Mbaka. You can also contribute to the conversation by calling on 071. Sorry, let me repeat that. You can contribute to the conversation by calling on 0719-012600. That is 0719-012600. Or contribute on our social media handles. That is Spice FM KE on Facebook, Twitter, and handle. Allow me to repeat that. Spice FM KE on Facebook, Twitter, and handle. Let me just sample some of your views or your contribution. We have a lady called Betty Ida Betty, her fear is rejection. And we have a lady called Karen on Twitter who says, my greatest fear actually is the concept of love. In a relationship, we may fall out of love, then cheating starts. Yeah, there's, right. a, there's a brother called Silas Motiti. Uh, he says, freedom, freedom, freedom. I don't like being controlled in a relationship. He says it's in Hamza. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he is into the concept of freedom. Man. All right. He wants to be free yeah, and man. lose. He wants to be free to do whatever he but feels But freedom like. also is not absolute huh, when you think about it. Yeah, freedom yes, comes. There needs to be like, freedom with responsibility. Yeah. Like even now I live alone and I'm not married. But also you can just start wailing up in my neighborhood. Check yay! You'll be evacuated. Yeah. <laughs> They'll send you out. So the freedom has its parameters. And yeah. then sometimes you desire, you know, what's on the other side of the fence, the green Graph. Yeah, you think that it's yeah. green on the other side, but it's just better like, water. Uh, yeah, like yes. when my wife says she's traveling to Shags, mm -hmm. I say, Ah, I'm, I'm going to be free. And then when she goes, I you're just so sad keep, and you yeah, depress us. So please, Mrs. Kisinga, please make sure you I don't like go to the village. In the relationships I've had, <laughs> when people are leaving, I feel very nice. Uh, truly, truly. Maybe those are not even true, true relationships. Yes, like, it means that you are not happy. Truly happy. Like you are going, Hey! Like, I feel happy. And then when they're coming, I get so depressed. I used to get depressed. It means you're not supposed to be in that relationship. You used relationship. to get depressed when they're coming. Yes, I'd, be ge I'd get so tired. I am tired. I am tired. It means you're very sad about I used to get so tired, Barbara. I'd switch off my phone so that somebody does not call and find it on. Check it. Yeah! Yeah! Barbara, is there anything on Facebook? On Facebook, How about we yeah. take a phone call? You can just take a phone call. All right, let's take a phone call. Remember, the number is 0719012600, and you'll be live on the air. It's funny. When I said take a phone call, oh, there we are. <laughs> hello, Spice FM. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. What's your name, and where are you calling from? I'm James Casey from Kisumu. Mm. Hi, James. Karibu sana, James. I I'm good, Barbara. Mm. Talk to me. What is... So, what is your fear in relationship? Okay, my greatest fear mm. is someone, okay, a lady losing her shape after a while. Jesus. Mm. You know, okay, I, I'm not married yet, mm -hmm. but, but that's why I'm not married. Mm. <laughs> because I see, I see my friends who are married. Mm -hmm. You marry a lady when she's, okay, when, when she's cute. Mm. So you then mean when she, she changes to, when, when when she comes to the house mm -hmm. to the house I mean mm -hmm. she starts eating anyhow and she gains a lot of weight mm -hmm. she loses shape you see in fact I fear that in fact because you what I, I fear that so you fear your spouse because or your I, girlfriend I losing look, losing shape I will lose interest in her. what Let if me you, ask you just a moment are you in shape yourself. Yes, I'm in shape. What okay. if you pay for her gym as part of yeah. your love duties? Okay, that that one I can I can do. Mm. Yes, encourage but, her to know, work out. There, there are some there are some which are out of my control. Exactly. Like somebody after 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 giving birth now now she. But leaves you're the one who impregnated her. No, he's saying uh, but, that's out of but, his control. If she, uh, 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 but, uh, is uh, that what you're saying? But I've not told her to, to leave herself. Mm. So you, you see, the, the body of a woman, not everyone is able to get back their body immediately. Mm. Some are lucky to yeah. get it back, mm. some are not. Mm. So we all change. But, 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 but my friend's wife, mm -hmm. no, they are not doing well in that. <laughs> okay, we understand. That's your fear. Thank Thanks you for much. calling. I think it. Uh, I think it goes both ways. Everyone should. Uh, yeah, I like, I, like funny. What, I like what Barbara said at the tail end. I think uh, women bodies change. I mean, there's a whole human being that has come out of her for ah, crying out. Yeah. Casey is being unfair. But if you think about it, also men's bodies change. Our yeah. hairlines recede. Our bellies become round, yeah. yes. and some have foul breath. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, foul and breath. Can, we can handle. Like, we can change that. They make weird noises even when sitting down. Yes. They're old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then, let me stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. 
there's a time I was uh, in the urinal and this older guy was really peeing while hissing like a snake. Check here. Hey! Hey! Why? Because his body has changed. So that Casey gentleman should know that men also change. Change, yeah. no, not yeah. only women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's it. Yeah. Do you have so, another call yeah, on the line? Speak, uh, let's speak another call. Hi, Spice FM, you on the air. Hello? Hello. Hi, Hi. how are you? I'm fine. Wh what's your name I'm and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Mombasa. Mm -hmm. What's your name? And I'm uh, Karen. Oh, Karen. Hi, Karen. From Mombasa. Hi. What's your biggest fear or your, some of your fears? Okay, my biggest fear is love, actually. You know, once you fall in love, you become weak. Aww. And uh, everything goes insane. Especially with a man like Eric, who doesn't want to commit. <laughs> yeah. Stop spoiling it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Karen, thank you so much for coming. I totally agree with you. Yeah. We need to have logical love. Yeah, but uh, let me tell you guys, you can't, as a, I'm going to say this analogy until the whole country gets it. When you're driving <laughs> a car to Mombasa, <laughs> You can't see all the way to Mombasa. So you just fall in love and you drive pole pole as far as the lights can see. Ama, but you also get into a car that's headlights are working, right? Yes. <laughs> I <Would> agree. <laughs> Unless there's a problem. Hello, there's... Spice FM. Hello. Uh, yes, Ah, kuna watu wengi sana wanataka kupiga simu. All right, I think uh, our brother was back. I think he had another burning point. Is there anything you're seeing? Uh... I'm seeing someone on Facebook saying, a P.S. Kipto, Emmanuel Kiles Kisiangani. Hello, my brother. Allow me to ask you, which freedom are you talking about? Let me guess, freedom to interact with other ladies? If you answer this, yes, then you <laughs> are wrong, brother. Let me, mar let me, marriage is all about love, trust, and life, time, and commitment. So kindly, once you're in a marriage, be ready to... Any ascentinity, especially when it comes to family. That is right. Zinaitu wa pingu za maisha. Let me tell you, my brother. So you don't need that. <laughs> Let me tell you, my brother, keep tall. Uh, there's a man called uh, Jonathan in the Bible. And uh, he was very uh, good friends with another guy called David. And they had a very deep uh, relationship. And it's not a, it, it was a, you know, uh, it, it's not a love relationship. It was mm -hmm. a relationship of friendship. So that's the relationship I'm talking about. I'm talking about hanging out with my friends where we can talk about manly issues. That's the freedom I am talking about, my brother. But I hear you. I hear you. There's a, a lady called Rachel Evans who says, her greatest fear in my life is losing a loved one, uh, losing my loved ones, also trust in my relationship. So yeah, she has to, yeah, yeah. it's trust. And losing a lot. Yes, I think. I'll tell you what also would really get me shattered. Yes. If my spouse and I would lose a child. I think the death oh, of a child would really that, be devastating. Yes. Not only a child, even when a, when a family or a spouse lose, they get a miscarriage. Oh, that yeah, is usually yeah, just, yeah, that, it that takes them sad. down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that also, I also have that fear. 94.4 yeah. Spice FM, you hang out with the adults in the room and we're having a very exciting conversation. Conversation. Please keep the calls coming in on 0719012600. We'll be back. 94.4 Spice FM and we're having a lot of fun in the studio if you're in Nairobi remember the frequency is 94.4 Spice FM all the way to Kitengela to Rongai and all the environs that is absolutely right if you're stuck in the office for these or that reason you can simply get us live and direct on www.spicefm.co.ke but if you're on the road in Kisumu or heading there our frequency in Kisumu is 102.5 if you're in Mombasa the county I love it's on, we are on 87.9. My name is Eric Omondi and you're tuned in to 94.4 Spice FM. We are the adults in the room. And I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Ikolomani. Talking of counties I love, if you are in Kakaomega, that is my county, <laughs> you can tune in at 102.5. Let me repeat that, Kakaomega County, that is 102.5. If you're in Kisumu, Kisi and the western region at large you can also tune in on the same frequency that is 102.5 if you're in Nakuru that is 96.0 if you're in Nyeri Moranga that is 97.6 and if you're able to contribute to the social media platform if you're able to contribute to our conversation go to our social media handles that is Spice FM KE on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can also call us on 0719 012 600 that is 0719 02 
to 600. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your fear is in a current relationship, in a past relationship, or in a relationship you want you, to get in. You know, Barbara normally gets really excited and skips some numbers because uh -huh. she loves I haven't these. skipped. Let me repeat that. <laughs> 0719012600. That is 0719012600. That's right. Call us right now and give us some of your thoughts about some of the biggest fears you have about relationships. My name is Eric Omondi. Emmanuel and my name is Emmanuel Kisangani. And that brother was saying, I want to be free so that I can hang out with that lady. Sometimes you want to be free just to do your own things. But I you get wanna, you. You want to go watch a movie alone. You know, I just want to go to the film. But you remember, uh, once in a while, I also... And just see the movie and then I'm happy alone. And then but, I go back But home. once in a while, so make sure you take her for that movie. Yeah, definitely. definitely. How is that? I yeah. think marriage is not meant for everyone. Uh, solitude it is, is a okay. perfect option. <laughs> I, th I feel like it is okay. I, I it is okay somebody once said, Barbara, yes. that uh, marriage is excellent. It's the living together that is hell. <laughs> what are you trying to say? It's, okay, it's, it's not me. I didn't say that. Someone <laughs> said. All right, let's pick a call in here. Spice FM, hello. You're on the air. Yeah, this is Laban. Hello. Hey, Laban, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Nairobi. Oh. Hi, Laban. Where in Nairobi are you calling from? Ah. Uh, what? Laban, please reduce the volume. Oh, yeah, in please turn down yeah. your volume so we can hear you properly. Yes, I have reduced it. Ah, fantastic. So what are some of your fears, Laban? Do you want to share? Okay, what are my fears? Like, what I do here in my relationship is, uh, is the lies, actually. Lies. Yeah. You're just like me. I hate liars. Yeah, you know, sometimes if I find somebody who lies you and like you don't like and she's not actually accurate what she's telling you mm -hmm. yeah mm, right that is, that is good thank you so much thanks for calling keep it locked to spice fm all right thank you thank you so much for calling laban laban is uh this, right. being lied to uh this yeah, uh, there's right. a gentleman called longinas wasike my fear that is on facebook my fear is getting someone who is not your age e.g i have it i have a 24 years I, I have 24 years. I think she, he meant the girlfriend and she's having a 30. She, okay, this grammar is very interesting. I think what he's trying to say mm. is fear of having someone who's not within your age. He's de, he is 30 and the lady is 24. Actually, I fear the re that kind of relationship. Yeah, Do you I have think, age barriers? Yes, I think I used to have those problems before my wife caught up with my age bracket. Eh? Yes. Because now we are all in our 30s. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so uh, what so happened silly. was... <laughs> What happened was how she used to love texting so much and me yes. I love calling. So that mm -hmm. those age those age differences can give you Yeah, it's it's problems. very difficult. I think I, I, I tried I tried dating young at some point and I was uh, completely uh, exasperated by endless banter that I could not relate with. Mm. Uh, you know, a lady telling you about crunk uh, or crunk. Yeah. <laughs> that is trouble. <laughs> So I would not know what they are talking about. So I'd be lost. Have to no, but I also have a, yeah, I have a yeah. problem in dating young. And I don't understand why today's generation, I know people date younger. And for men, it's okay. But for women, I find it a bit dodgy. And I was actually talking to my producer today afternoon when I was telling her, I'm having a problem with younger men trying to hit on me. For surely, I am old enough almost to be your mother. Oh, come on. I know. No, I'm not. I, a 24 year old man can handle but, you just. No, 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 no. Like, actually, what do you mean a 24 year old man can handle me? No, 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 no. I I object. But I tell you, Derek, I can't. Okay, personally, I am not comfortable with a younger man. Why? I ju it just feels off. I feel like I'm going to be baby. You should man. try it. No, no should I can't. I am too old to be doing PE. Let's be very honest. What is PE? All the, these acrobatics things. I, uh, I just want an down. older man or when someone like here. <laughs> you guys yes. want people who are tired and are about yes, to give up. In yes, the... yes, yes. These women. Are I bad. want a, for yeah. me. Some yeah. people want younger men for PE. I, Barbara, I, I'm too old for PE. There, 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 this, uh, there, there's this uh, billionaire who died up in Tanzania. Oh yes, day. I saw. And he was dating a very young girl compared to him, his age. Yeah. And that's why I said for yeah, men the it's okay. Are like 49 years. But you know, man? for yeah, men, yeah. you guys like younger women. I don't know. You think that you will juice out all that youth from them? No, you see, the, the, older the, men love you, younger they women. They don't have any problems with communications, with text, with any, them. They are good. They're happy. No, for me, and they have. Very I feel good like I feel like it's too now, much. Now, I'm at an age, to be honest, where I appreciate a very mature woman. Not, not. I'm not talking about your, <laughs> like, like a really. I understand. A, an octogenarian. Octogenarian. I understand. Uh, uh -huh. I'm not looking at your sunset years, but a decent conversation. I appreciate conversation, yes. as I've told you. I want good quality discourse. 
and uh, and and sense. Yes. But you don't find a lot of that in uh, second floor. Yes. You can start finding that you, on the third, third floor. floor yes. Because yes. I have a problem. You can find a young a young man who is in his twenties. He wants to go out dancing. I have no time for that. Mm. I have left work. I want to go home. But they also this. Barbara, you, you take Barbara, him to the joint you, you want to. Barbara, maybe I'm just going home to Barbara, watch a movie and have tea. They also are strong. They can kiss you for long. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> Like what do you, you want to tell Eric, me that mature men can't kiss me for Eric, long? Uh, They're tired. They want to sleep. You know that <laughs> Eric. Eric was. Some of them are energetic. Eric was mentioning that he wants a lady who then have, uh, you know, a child probably. Yes. Know? And uh, you know she she then have a child young or old. You know most of those ladies are the younger ones. You know that. Yeah. So you're more likely to uh, to get married to a lady who's maybe twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. There. Yes. No, no. Do you know that? Do you, 21 yes. is too young, really. What are we going okay, to talk 21 about? 21 is too young. I also think 24. Maybe you're 27. I'm telling you that girl would run away with Eric's manners. Oh, yeah. sorry. Character. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak one more phone call. Hello, Spice FM. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's a lady. Hi. How are you? My name is Eric. I'm the one who normally speaks to women. How do you do? This is Tasha in Bakasi. Tasha from? Embakasi. Embakasi. Oh, Karibu sana, Tasha. The one who loves your voice. All right. Again, Tasha, how do you do? You guys <laughs> need to exchange uh, personal Tasha, he numbers. didn't send you his number yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to follow him on Facebook. Never worry. Never worry. Oh, my God. Make sure you do it. I'll make sure he gets your number. Tasha, today is the day. You know it's Friday, eh? <laughs> Tasha, okay, what are your fears? Yes. Um, my fears are... Yes. Um, I have cheated before. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, I, I know what cheating is all about. And yes. I fear a man cheating on me. Mm -hmm. God of heaven. Just let me correct you. You have been cheated on or you have cheated before? I didn't get that right. I have. She's cheated and she fears being cheated on. I understand you. And so I it, I know that the game's involved. So I would fear a man. Doing that you same thing. I'll come, come back late, but I would fear a man cheating on me. I understand right. you. Thank you very much, Tasha, for that very honest... I'll make uh, sure Eric sends you his number. Barbara, you've also cheated, um, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't lie. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, you must I, answer. Yes, I, you didn't think I'll answer. Yes, I, I cheated and Back I was in the caught. Day, in I, 1999. Yes. No, I cheated and I was caught and it was bad. It was embarrassing. Okay. Yes, oh. and I asked for forgiveness. Yes. So and I was think? young. She's saying she fears... And you see, I, let me tell you why I respect Tasha for that. Oh. She was very open to come out and say, I cheated before. Mm -hmm. I know what it feels like. I know the games and the things that behind it. And I wouldn't want anyone to do Maybe that. Maybe the question... And that's why I told her, I understand and I feel her. Maybe the question we ought she to have grown asked... Up, she's a different woman right now. Maybe the question we ought to have asked uh, Tasha yes. is uh, whether or not she's stopped cheating. Uh, I think yeah. she has by the time she's giving that conversation. No, she says she just fears being cheated on, but maybe she, she says still she cheats. can sneak a cheat from a mile away. Because All she knows, right. yeah. So she does she still cheat? Maybe she should. Tasha, let us know if No, you since you're cheat. going to get her number, you can give us that feedback. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said if she hooks up with someone else, she's fearing that maybe that girl. Oh, Karma cheat. would, you know, yes. Karma. Uh, there's a gentleman called Salim. Salim, you're asking for a frequency in Nairobi. That is 94.4. So we will not reply that online, but I'll reply it. On air. All right, let's pick another call. Hi, Spice FM. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Spice FM. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is Oxalis Acastas from Nantic County. Oxalis. Yeah. How, How are you, Oxalis? I'm very fine. Oh, thank you for What are your fears, Oxalis? What are your fears? Okay, my fears are... Uh, being in a restricted re relationship where you are not, you're, you're being followed every other time. Maybe your lover mm -hmm. mm. will be following you up and down, no, want to know whom are you chatting with in your phone. Mm. Being, being restricted every other time. You why do you fear being, res uh, being Oxal restricted? Uh, Oxal is I hear you. Barbara used to be like that with, before she went through exorcism. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, so it's it's a serious issue. I assume my co-host. <laughs> Thank you very much, Oxalis. What do you guys think of what uh, Oxalis is saying? He may wants freedom to chat everyone. And no, but anyone he, I think that cuts at across any time. It cuts across because there are men and women who are very insecure in their relationship. Mm. So sometimes just be very open with each other and give each other space. I think so. Uh, I don't know what you think about that. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have another call? We could. Do you want to opine on no, that? No, 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 it's fine. All right, let's speak another call. All right, let's speak another call. Eric, All someone right. online is calling you a mush. 
Momosh. Yes. Yeah, Is it? Yes. Hello, Spice FM, and you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Mango from Eldoret. Oh. Hi, Mango. Uh, what's on Mango. your mind? Margo. So what I fear is uh, I'm married mm. one year now, and what I fear is to have a child. Mm. You fear to have a child? Yeah. Oh, oh, does why, your wife why? know that? Be or is she hearing it on air? Let, let, let's let, let him finish. So because mm. It's because, you know, it's easy to care for pregnancy, but I'm not ready now to care for an infant. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. Can I ask, is she mm. pregnant? No, she's not pregnant, and I fear that. Okay, I fear fine. to impregnate her. I hope she knows yeah. that, and please talk to your wife about that. Okay. Thanks for calling, and keep it spice. Yeah, man. Barbara, I think him, he was just saying his fears, uh, maybe getting a child before, uh, maybe he's ready. Maybe he's even disgusted with the wine. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, yeah, it's okay to have that fear. Today, I'm hearing very many fears. Someone here fears Don't hearing you? babies cry. Barbara yeah. was not empathetic yeah, and connecting with me. Why should I be? I'm sorry. No, but <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if it came out wrong. Yeah, but he just was sharing that he fears having a child, uh, especially when he's not ready. So okay, that is fine. Yeah, that is fine. No, but you are fine. telling her, have you had discussed with your wife? Yeah, because I'm imagining, you know, some things you men do. You get therapy. You remember he told us therapy where he gets his therapy in a bus. Maybe it's because me, I used to fear getting a child before uh, uh, having a place for my my family to stay. Which is understandable. Secure. I think maybe that's what he was trying to put yeah, across. I think so. He fears there, bringing there someone fears into this world. fears that are as legit as that or mine of somebody who was staying in my house for too long. Mm -hmm. For me, I have a fear. Yeah. I think... Uh, a lady chilling in my house for too long. Why that did you invite her in the first place? At what point do you, At what point do you know that is, she's chilled Preferably too long? Preferably, you come, say, on a Friday and leave the following day. Uh, oh. After you have my leader. <laughs> <laughs> FM Spice up your life Yeah, this is 94.4 Spice FM You're hanging out to the adults in, in the room My name is Emmanuel Kisiangani If you're in Nairobi, remember the, the frequency is 94.4 And if you're in places like Kitengela Places like Rongai, places like Lemuru Please spread the word that the frequency is still 94.4 that is absolutely right. Remember, we are the adults in the room where we have no holds bad conversation about relationship and lifestyle between men and the women who love them. Look, if you're in Kisumu areas of Masat, Kirabur, Kibos, uh, all the way up in uh, Nyalenda, we are on one or two. Point five, and if in Mombasa, in Chuda area, Nyali, um, Vita, uh, you know, in the central business district of Mombasa, we are live and direct on 87.9. Remember, Spice FM is the first radio coming in live in visual format. What that means is that wherever you are in the great continent of Africa, you can simply stream us live on www.spicefm.co.ke. We are taking all of your thoughts and feedback about what we are discussing today on 07. One nine zero one two six hundred. My name is Eric Omondi. And I am Barbara Mbaka, also known as the Duchess of Ecolomani. You can also contribute to the conversation through our social media handles. That is Spice FM KE on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Spice FM KE on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We shall sample some of your tweets, some of your Facebook comments, or Instagram. So, Barbara, is there any uh, feedback? I catch you off when you're about to read some feedback no, yes. on, uh, I have on a Facebook. Yes, I have a gentleman called Vince Calvo tuned in from Roraka. He says his greatest fears are lies and betrayal. Lies and betrayal. Yes. He, he, I would uh, really identify with that. Huh? Yes. You know, one of my fears, which I can couple up with Calvo's, eh? yes. uh, when people fade the person they introduced you to, be themselves in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, when they sent their representative and they you were very sweet and <laughs> gentle and nice, then all of a sudden, down the road, maybe four <sighs> months, they've metamorphed. It's a flip. Yeah, they've flipped. Now they are cursing. And as Emmanuel said, maybe yes. they've now taken up to heavy gyration. But <laughs> when you met them, they were not working as much. Like, yeah, that is why baby. it's good to date for long. Yes, yes, so yes. That you can, so that if the, re the representative gets tired. <laughs> yes, <laughs> now the real person show up. But Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we are not dating for seven years. Like but also, Barbara, don't get married after there. three weeks. That is not good. <laughs> I <for> can't. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks is too short. We don't get married after three weeks. And noted, Eric. We met, we met uh, on our way to Mombasa Imagine. on Thursday last week. 
<laughs> and now we are tying the knot. Now husband. I'm making for him some carrot chapatis. Yeah. Let's uh, pick a call. <laughs> Hi, Spice FM. You're on the air. Hello. Ah, we've lost that one, man. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hi, Spice FM. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Where are you calling from? And what's your name? My name is Tunash. Oh, Tunash. Where are you calling from, sir? I'm calling from a Dorit. Hi, Tunash. What are your fears? Oh, my goodness, fears like just my tears are like mm-hmm. uh, starting off a, uh, like a marriage or relationship. Mm-hmm. Then it's all fine when it starts off. Mm-hmm. Then it gets to a point it becomes boring. Mm. But both of you are in the day, you're in the house. Mm. One person is on the phone, the other one is on the phone, probably chatting with different people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. But don't you think it takes two to tango? It takes two to tango, I know, but. Yes. I mean, p- so it, it just gets to a point, everything is boring. Then it yeah. Yeah, 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 I, yes. get, I get what yeah. Tanash is saying. So we need to rejuvenate some of these relationships. Rejuvenate, yeah? Yes. Mm. I understand your fear. What if someone is not willing? Someone, uh, you want my my advice or my thoughts? Yeah, yeah. If someone, you know, if someone is not, sit them down, have a conversation with yeah. them, and this is the part I'll say: be as like Eric says, be very honest and candid with them about how you feel. And yeah. if you're able to go forward, fine. If you're not, step out. Yeah. Also, to 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 Nash. I think uh, yeah, I think uh, boredom is a feeling, and oftentimes feelings just are that. They are feelings. They go away. You can feel sad and then feel happy. You can feel dull and then feel delightful. So yeah. So you just wait it out. Oh yes, you're right. Thank yeah. you for calling, man, and keep it spice FM. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thanks. I re- I I agree with uh, that gentleman. In fact, today I was uh, going through a list with my wife of other things we can do. You know, mm-hmm. uh, living together, you know, forever is a very long time. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can run out of things to do. It happens. You see, so uh, one of the things I read is buy a bike and then both of you go biking. Honey, I've never ridden a bike. Or I sometime, might fall off. Have you or seen sometimes my behind? you just give each other space. See, the no, space can also work. You need to no, sometimes together. you need to no, rejuvenate a relationship. You see the time when you're together. After mm. yes. you've given each other all space, right. then you yes. come back together. Oh, and you you've done be, everything. Yeah, yes. you if you give each other space, you'll all them. drift away. Yeah. All right. yeah, so talk to each other, see what else. Relationships are hectic. For Just picnic. stay alone. Hey, relationships are hectic. Oh, see, I'm telling you the thing so that they don't be hectic. So, Emmanuel, are you going for a picnic this weekend? No, I'm I'm not, but uh, maybe I'll try something else. Maybe I'll go. By the way, I have an idea for you. You could actually buy some very nice whole bread. And then you put sandwich in it, and then you take a drive to a forest and yes. hang out. Yes, that's top. Yes, I used yes. to do that in okay, my I'm former sorry, that's relationship. Boring. Yeah. No, it's oh, really it's nice. Boring. And then you have the juice, and you talk while looking at nature. Check it. Then you like, baby, I okay. love you. Check it. I love you, but the bird is loud. At this rate, go to the park. You start talking about that bird. Check it. Check it. That is a quiver bird. Bads. Why don't you talk about ourselves? Hey, but I tell you, you Derek, uh, right. take that, because take her to dinner. Do something different. Done all right. of that. To, to Nash was right because he said, "What if the person is not willing?" You see, yes. you can meet someone who is who's not into going for picnic. Me, I will course. not go to the park. You see, don't try such someone things. Someone like Bab. Do you leave her alone? <laughs> see, you see, she's alone. You leave her alone. <laughs> Let's speak one more call. Hi, Spice FM. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm Wilva calling from Garijo. Oh. oh, Karibu sana. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Uh, I like your show. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, my, my greatest fear is that. Yes. Mm. I think my wife uh, calling uh, her mother every now and then, you know, like every day. What, what is it that you are talking about? That's, that's my greatest fear in the relationship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> calling your, her mother. Yeah. Yes, it's calling like, her mother uh, using your phone. No, just calling her mother. No, her, her phone. Yeah. All right. She's yes, constantly uh, consulting. No, they, they just, they, they just talking. I don't know what they're talking about. Every now and then, every day. You want to be part of the conversation? I don't want, but it's my. You know, I'm actually. It's a, a, a fear to me. Yeah. Maybe they're just close. No, but. 
But I get what he's saying. I remember my ex used to say I call my I talk to my mother so much. Yeah, thank you so much for calling. I understand. Okay. Keep it spice FM. Thank Why you. do men fear that? I tell you what, Barbara, my wife uh, and uh, and uh, her mom, they talk every single day. Eh? It's normal. Every day at around between 7.30 to 8. And uh, this guy, I'm relating with him because initially I was like, hey, what's up with these guys? Me, I don't talk to my mother daily. But that's you. But later on, I, I discovered, you see them, they're only two in their, in their family, mm -hmm. two siblings, mm -hmm. and plus the parents, who are only two. Us guys, my dad had a couple of wives, and then we, the children were like 21, yeah, you yeah. see. So I don't think th there are enough people to check on my mom daily. Mm. So I, I, you I, can I, have I, tons. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I realize them, they're a smaller family, yeah, so they have to smaller get in touch. Units. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, also, I, I don't think it would hurt that somebody's talking to their mother. Yeah, I don't think you should make but a fuss anyway, about maybe, it. Maybe because maybe. of the story. You remember the story I talked about in-laws? Maybe the, the, uh. if the conversation is affecting your day-to-day -day life. Yeah, okay, maybe that, the no, conversation yes, is makes, infringing yeah. on their relationship. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But okay. not to worry. Allow me to read one more tweet. Or do you have a call on the line? Yeah, we have a call on the line. Do you have this a very uh, uh, nice tweet? that No, one pick. Is, uh, all right, let's pick one more call. Hello, Spice FM. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi, you're on the air. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is P.S. Kipto. Oh, Hi, P.S. Kipto. Kipto. Yes. Where are you calling from, sir? Barbara knows, from Kapsabit. Yes, from uh, Kapsabit County. Uh, yeah. No, he has been tweeting <laughs> and I read, <laughs> PS, I, I read your tweet online, so they're wondering yeah. how I know. <laughs> Barbara is chatting with people undercover <laughs> while the show is going on. Oh, <laughs> Karibu Zana, P.S., how are you and what are your fears? Asante sana, asante sana. Na kuambia ni mesinya. Mm. Uh, what are your fears, Kipto? Okay, I have three fears in, in, in a marriage. So yes. I'm not married. Yes. yes, share with us, please. One, number one is responsibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number two is uh, misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And number three is uh, misunderstanding be between me and my wife. Mm -hmm. And then misunderstanding be between my wife and my, my relatives or my, my family. All okay. right. Can I ask why you fear responsibility? Oh, sorry? Can I ask why you fear responsibility? You fear taking care of someone yes. else's daughter? Or you just, that, that whole idea of you being the man of the house and having to having all that on your plate? Yeah, you know, as a, as a man of the house, you, you, in, in case of any, uh, maybe any problem, mm -hmm. you must be there for the family. True. Mm, yeah, that's true. So maybe, for example, there's no food or the child is sick and you don't have money to, 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 to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Na ukotu hapo na devu zako umeja kwa nyumba, ulecho hapo ni shida. Hapo ni shida kweli. Yes, so uh, if that is okay, then the rest is, I, I hear Eric and the man was talking of things like uh, freedom. Yes. Kize unajipanga, those ones uneza jipanga. Emmanuel jipange. Hata we jipange, he has your responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling Kipto, have a lovely weekend. All right. So in uh, your 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 because time is uh, we 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 we're, we're behind time. Uh, in ten seconds, tell me your parting shot. My parting shot. As much as we have many fears, I think we need to step back oh. and not fear having commitment. If you're able to put down your put away, if there's, if that's correct English anyway, if you're able just to look back or put away some of these fears, and uh, talk to your partner or your spouse and just know how to work through some of these fears because some of them are workable some mm -hmm. of them are negotiables and some of them are a no yeah. so look at where you are in your stage in your life with the relation with your partner and see if you can forge forward how about you eric it is said that uh, children are born with only two fears one the fear of sound and two the fear of falling down the yes. rest we learn growing up yeah, that's true and they're just fears so you yeah. you can you can walk around them yes, you, yes. you totally can yeah we're at the top of the hour man what are you guys up to from here barbara i am so happy it's a weekend I have a lot planned and spend mm. time with my daughter and catch up with my girlfriends, go for chama, you know, those things that women do. Mm. I want to do some of that. Are you going to mm. text Kipto Badaya, ma? No, I may she happen. I may she happen. Yes, we need to have yeah. some decorum and professionalism. Uh, yeah, I am going to have a very restful weekend and probably get to read a bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think I'll just, uh, I'm going to see a friend of mine. In, uh, right now? Yeah. So we're assuming you'll get home at 3 a.m. <laughs>
<laughs> Mrs. Kisiangani, <laughs> please note he left the studio immediately after the show. Way to practice some of the lessons I've learned here. Anyway, you're hanging out with the adults in the room. That's Thank right. you so much for hanging out with us from 7 o'clock yes. all the way to the top of the hour. And you found us in the middle. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, we'll be back here on Monday at 7 o'clock.